We're still getting things set up. I know there's no audio at the moment, but I'm trying to share my URL with my friends, so we'll have audio coming back in just a minute. Yes, the dogs are in shot. They're behaving. I much appreciate the dogs. <laughs> Thank you guys for being uh, placeholders. And we have live audio. We're live audio. We're live audio as of right now. And we're bringing ourselves over and trying to actually start the stream. Now, now that the uh, computer is finished pretending like I've never used it before, wanting me to double and triple check everything and do like quadruple backup. Are you sure this is the same you that's logged into this thing just 12 hours ago? I don't think it's the same you. You should check your email again. Have you yeah. updated? <laughs> no, I just tried to... Get some sleep. <laughs> oh, hey, everyone's here. Hi, guys. Welcome to the live stream, Rodent Bitches. No, no, that's next week is Stitch and Bitch. Yeah, that's next week. That's next week, yeah. <laughs> but hi. All of our Patreon fans are, are here right now in the very beginning, and that's very cool. So I appreciate all you guys dropping in. Yeah, looks like yeah. people are already saying. People are already saying oh, hello. We got the uh, man of the plan. He was actually got a call out last week with yay doggos. And Detlef is here. Good good evening, Detlef. Um, Jack of all trades, put the live stream link in announcements. Well, I kind of tried to do the same thing, too. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Yay, moderators. Yay. Thank you for helping. Uh, I mean, that was the first place I posted it. <laughs> oh, did they double post? Uh, whatever. Better I don't know. more than less. I yeah, guess. better more than less. <laughs> maybe maybe I was trying to post an announcements and oh yeah okay I thought I clicked announcements but you know discord yeah I'm having a heck of a great computer day today because Don't worry, you know live. yeah this, this is where Odin takes a sledgehammer and starts breaking stuff <laughs> technology yeah 
Looks... Hey, Jay Period is sharing his uh, duct tape coffee. Sweet. Well, actually, specifically, Jay made himself a pattern for duct tape, for a duct tape coffee koozie <laughs> cup cover. Right, so he's made himself a foam cup cover that goes around it, and it's got duct tape on it. So he's 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 prepared for his duct he tape. He is coffee. ready for today, that's for sure. Far Cheers. more than I am. Cheers. <laughs> if I had foam on mine, it probably wouldn't be so sweaty or condensationy. Right. Condensationy, yes. It's that's a word now. Uh, it is now. It is now. It's on the internet. It's real. <laughs> yes, Bruno, stop eating Toby. Thank hey, you. Dee Dee with a plan. I wonder if this is the upgrade from Man with a Plan. Is sharing his Jaws coffee cup, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This is on Discord, guys. So I'm sorry if you're not on Discord, you're not seeing the pictures, but you know, this is pretty cool. Well, actually, these are our Patreons. These, at this point in time, while we're live, but yeah, these future are future people Patreons. watching this. Yeah. You are right. Sorry. For, for, for the, yeah, so. <laughs> echo. Is there an echo? There shouldn't be an Wait, echo. Wait, the echo was me. Right there. Go down, keep going. Yeah. Right. Oh, wait, the echo is yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, Kara. <laughs> let me just try to <laughs> catch let me just try to catch myself up, because apparently I'm not I'm not with it today. So what are we doing today? We're pretending that we've got a live stream and that we're gonna be able to entertain people for the next three hours. So what do we do on this live stream? <laughs> uh, usually on this live stream, we show a lot of dogs. Uh, sometimes when it isn't like a million degrees outside and opening up the porthole inside of the building where flames just come in, uh, we have a train can that we can cut to. Um, but, but I suppose what you're trying to get me to say is that we've been working on a Wonder Woman costume. We've specifically been working on all the accessories that go together to make Wonder Woman. Because as you have said many times in the past, and I agree with her, the accessories are what makes the costume. Yes. Yes. Very much so. So, I think we're ready to be done today. I think we're ready to be done today too. Uh, is there? Are we doing any more touch-up painting on anything? Yes. Okay. We kind of left things not fully finished painted, which okay. looks great on camera, but up close they're not done. They okay. Need, like, we can tell up close they're not quite done. We need to get a couple more coats of paint on the gold. The silver okay. looks amazing. It's done. Right. And last week we added some heavier what the foam to the um, inside Velcro. So which which made them much more rounder and more structurally sound, I suppose. Right. <laughs> the right shape and are comfortable. So we fixed that problem last week. So those are done. Cuffs okay. are done. Cuffs are done. Cuffs are done. Done done. Done done. So we have backup cuffs that are We have backup cuffs. That are also done, I think. Actually, surprisingly, the what the foam ones are so much better than the soft foam because the soft one foam ones are already wrinkling and we'll probably need to blow dryer them. Oh, okay. To get the little wrinkles out. Get the run of, right. But the what the foam ones are holding the shape. Well, they're not wrinkling even when they're not. Like going from straight and curved and getting all Okay. Used and abused, I suppose. There you are, yeah. Yeah, because you know, it, it's it's on a joint and it has to open and straight and it's Right. And I see flexible you, surface. I'm seeing you flex it and I'm seeing wrinkles happening, but they're not sticking around. No, they're not. Okay. They're like, it, 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 it's like... More pauses for what the foam? Right? <laughs> this one, it's softer and it gives it more of an easy curve and they kind of stretch out, but it, the... They need to be... They get creased, little, little micro, and they need to have the, the, the heat applied. A little bit of, uh, of a hair dryer will make those little wrinkles fill back out and... Almost all of them will disappear. Yeah, well, they disappear mostly when it's curved. Yeah. Back to the curved surface. So just throwing it on with a little bit of a blow dryer before right. leaving would probably fix the solution. But yeah, at least a blow dryer, you can do that while you're wearing it, unlike a heat gun. Oh, no. No, 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 nope, 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 nope. I will not be the hot dog. No, <laughs> no. Nope. So, but these worked. That was cool. Good, good. Um, we are enlisted. Yeah, we are. The so, suddenly I had this fear of wait I made the I made the stream unlisted right now right yeah yeah okay good okay we're good <laughs> all the technical difficulties up to date yeah maybe <laughs> maybe we'll see we'll see yeah um, we got twenty one playbacks happening right now which is pretty cool okay there's, there's, a, there's a there's a good amount of people this is, is the point yeah no I know it's like wait how do you play it back or do you just start right. slightly behind. Um, yeah, well, it says nine concurrent viewers, which is great. So we probably have nine people here. Oh, okay. hey, Kara says, oh, my God, Felicia, I love the braids. But thank 
you. <laughs> Um, but I was saying last week, All right, sorry, no sorry. worries. I know people in the comments. Thank you. Try, try, yeah. <laughs> uh, last week we had talked about the magnets wouldn't go through. Magnets the bus wouldn't cup. go through the bus cup. Right. Because it was too, too many layers of, it was too thick and it wasn't really holding. The center was holding nicely and the d bottoms of the W were clicking into space, but this was not going to work on. No. A foam bus cup. So I came up with another solution okay. for that. Good. Yeah. It's kind of simple, but kind of weird. Um, kind of simple, but kind of weird? Yeah. On removable straps. Right. The straps that go over the shoulders. They have little hooks. And I wonder, does this one have it where you can see it? No. This one... Because the removable straps have little ribbon loops that are sewn on the inside right of the here. cups. Which camera would be a good one? Uh, well, theoretically two. Camera two? <laughs> yeah, it's two even set for... Camera two. Close up? Ah, it's too short, too tall. <laughs> Can I shrink it? Hold on, Can hold you on. shrink it? Ah! There we're we go. Out. We're trying, we're right trying. Right here. Okay. Okay. So, so, right here, there's just a little tiny ribbon that... Little tiny ribbon strap. This will just slide right into, so that the the straps are removable or stay in place. Okay. And it's just a really simple hook and loop solution. Yes, literal. <laughs> Literally. And so, oops, I to over here. There we go. So I kind of wanted to work with kind of that solution of oh, just a hook and a loop. Okay. And originally I was going to put just a little loop over in the, um, on the inside of the W. Right. So that I could put a little hook in and I was like, oh, I could just use a bobby pin and just stab a bobby pin in and hold it into place. Okay. But then I had these nice clippy bobby pins that just kind of slide right here. And I'm thinking if it's... Well, you got the magnet because the magnet is yeah. the part that comes off, right? Yeah, no, we yeah. can move that. But we can glue this into place, and then this will slide over. These are um, little clips, so okay. they will slide over. The entire bus, bus cup. Yeah. Okay, I'm just so going to pop these little rhinestones off, because oh. they're not important. It's the clipping itself. Okay. So it's not, not going to damage the fabric. It's not going to damage the, the bodice. Garment. It's okay. not going to be a permanent to make any changes to the garment, but it's a solution that will be made to the um to the w to hold it in place nice. and give you multiple options on how to wear it okay nice so that's the solution i came up with i thought of the bobby pins but then i saw these this morning and changed my plan so you know we'll see what works out the best i just popped it off uh -huh. yeah little rhinestones just little rhinestones a little little bit of super glue and off they go okay yeah. So figure we could put that on the W and then the double the belt the belt needs another layer of paint and Okay. I think the crown's fine. I think the crown's fine, I agree. The crown's, yeah, it has enough, but I think this W and the belt need another coat because they are um, brushy. They are definitely brushy. It is an issue with with trying to do the metallics and and with with a brush is they end up brushy. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like when, when you get enough coats on them, you don't see the brushies right. as much. So, I like this way this W turned out. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> this last one is uh, being a little stubborn. Here, you can do those ones too then. <laughs> oh, thanks. Right. We got the belt, and we're not touching that. This was the gold we're using. I am... I have concern over... Uh, Damaging, <laughs> twisting, bending. There we go. These were epoxied on and, and held very, very well. Well, how are we, should we stick them on to get them to hold very, very well onto the foam? Onto the foam? Um, well, we, we can use epoxy if we want, because apparently that worked. Uh, we could, um, I'm so, so, I, I, 
I like super glue. I like the promise of super glue. I enjoy that, but this is a structural thing, and I'm not not as excited about it. <laughs> no, I would super glue around a piece of foam that held it in place or something like that. Okay, well, we could we could uh, let's just add bulk. Yeah. If we did that, because like we could put a couple of loops so like it fits into a couple of loops. Yeah, and then, but... but that's just going to add more bulk. I mean, if if we could do a bit of fabric or something, that isn't going to add millimeters. It'll add, you know, yeah, partial millimeters. But would that really even hold or help? Um, yeah, we could. could. Yeah. But um, you know, we could do five minute epoxy if we did it soon. Okay. Well, then we should probably get that going and set so that okay, it could be done. Yeah. There it goes finally. <laughs> This, this oh, that's a start. Out of the there, click. there it goes. Okay. Whoops. Well, so I got three of each. Oops. That's a Toby. That's a Toby. I stepped in the dog. I'm sorry, dog. He, he likes the attention. <laughs> he likes the attention. I don't like stepping on him. That's not fun. That's not fair. He's he's being a really good boy. <laughs> being right at your feet. Being right at the feet. I'm here. I'm here with my people. I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy dog. Yeah. <laughs> he totally is too. Yeah. Okay. Probably shouldn't peel all the extra. As easy as it is to do, I probably shouldn't peel all the extra uh, epoxy off of these because it'll just help hold. It will. Because, That's good to know. Yeah. Well, it, it adds more surface area, right, to, for for mm -hmm. it to to grip with. I'm tempted to go ahead and, and um, sand this a little bit where I have peeled it. So uh, it gives it more tooth. Gives it more tooth, exactly. Okay. I need. Oh, the disc of foam. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Detlef actually has a good question. What's the question? The question is foam question. Uh, when I get foam into shape with a heat gun, will it go out of shape when it's, when it's, you know, for example, lying in the sun? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, absolutely. Um, foam will go back to its uh, manufactured state if heat is applied to it. So when you make something that's curved, you're going to need to do something to the back of it to help it hold that curve. Um, or if you're going to do something that will... Um, I haven't done a lot of the, the texturing where you take a, a wadded up ball of aluminum foil and, and texture the foam. You heat it and mash this texture into it. It looks great, but I'm sure that if you don't paint it very quickly after doing that, it will relax and come back. It's not, it's not going to be a permanent thing. Well, when you curl your hair, yeah. if you set it with, um, you start with the heat and then you set it with the cold, okay. it holds it much better. So vulcanizing your... Okay, so um, doing the heat stress to... Yeah, so if you do the heat and then you cool it off, like... Okay. Going from hot to cold, you know, messing with the temperature, I feel like that could help keep your heat settings better. Okay. Because, yes, definitely in hot weather, things do relax. Oh, yeah. And melt and... And, and do weird... Yeah. Yeah, but if you have the darting built in, like you said structural support but also I do think that hot and cold could be a good helpful solution okay like possibly like bags of ice or something. you know like after you right. do the hot <laughs> and then you do the but. do something cold to, to, yeah yeah ice packs maybe or 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 under the freon or just air yeah I don't know not yeah. freon but you know you, the cool. the air dusting cans you turn them upside down you do the mr. freeze thing to your lego or is that just me but uh I think that's you. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, hot and cold, I think, would probably be your best solution because if you just use hot and then let it cool off. Uh-huh. Because, like, with bus cups and Superman costumes and things like that, when you steam them, it steams out all the wrinkles and they return to their original curved shape. Right. But those original curved shapes were heat and cool set, so I don't know. Yeah. But don't Pretty expect cool it to say stay. But if you do want to help, hot and cold helps. I really need to pick up the the back counter. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's kick some ice, Mr. Freeze. There you go. <laughs> I didn't say it with quite the right, you know, bad Schwarzenegger accent, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, James Allen's in. Hi! Hello, James! Hello, James. I do think I posted this to the, um, playlist, so... Sometimes when I, when I do that early, other, you know, it is possible for other people to pop in. Not saying James is other people. I'm sure he's not. But James is here! Um... Dad loves say, let's just say it's an Avenger shield hanging on the wall. Um, with the Avenger shields that I've done, I've always put one of two things. Um, I have always just made a flat circle of foam and glued it on the inside. And that creates definitely, wherever the flat circle is, even if it's inset, the, the remainder of the curve is now attached to that point and it won't relax. Um, I've had some other friends that just took two pieces of foam, curved both of them, and glued them together. And now you've got two layers that are that are glued together and it won't relax because you've got the two layers that are holding themselves together. They're and pulling, it, yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't take much. I think with some of the muscle suits, um, they're probably cast to begin with to be in that shape, but they're also cast against a fabric. So mm -hmm. it wants to go back into that shape because that's the shape it was where the two pieces were fused together. So I think... Um, that's all I'm doing with my adventure shields. <laughs> well, those are plastic. It's the polyester. It's like melts. So at that point, it's like vacuum forming it. <laughs> yeah. It's melting it into that shape. It's not foam like where it's... I don't know. Maybe they do have the same kind of polyesters well, in them. I don't know. The plastics. Uh, I know some of the, some of the muscle chests I've seen have been um, an EVA foam layer of the muscles. I with was, with a fabric over them? Yeah, they have the fabric over them, and it's just like a thin foam. I'm just thinking the cheap Superman. You know, where it's the one-piece unitard suit, and it uh -huh. has just kind of that six-pack right. piece in the front. Those pieces are great. They Those really pieces do. pieces are great. Like, they steam out amazingly, and people think, oh, no, it's ruined because I washed it. You just use a steamer. Just steamer, and it comes right back. Cool. Yeah, it pops right back into shape, but... Just first before I get the main part. So I have something to hold on to. Right. This isn't quite matching the curve. I'm going to need to put... Uh... Well, that'll help, actually. Of course, now I've got... Now I've got less... Oh, come on, sentences, words. Oh, I see what my problem is. So there's that, and there's that, and let me get a... Uh, yeah, I can do clothespins. C-47s? C-47s. I'm going to take a little bit of this cardboard and see if that'll help not make the, the dimples in the front from the C-47s. But um, hopefully I can clamp, add some clamping to these berets or hair clips and um, force the foam to fit. Which it's not. Huh. The banging is just uh, Jesse's doing something in the other room. He closed, opened and closed one of his lockers. Is that what you're looking at? No, I was looking at the back um, wall, seeing if there's any other clamping options. Oh, okay. You know, just like, what do we got? Yeah. What, what do, do we got? need? Right. What are we Fair trying enough. to do? Because <laughs> I didn't even see those till this morning when I was leaving. I was planning on doing something completely different. <laughs> right. Well, you started talking about something completely different, and now we're... <laughs> yeah. It's live. We're crafting. We'll see what yeah. it ends up being eventually. <laughs> It's that e eventually. Yep. Alrighty, that's got that's got epoxy all the way around it. But, eh, I'm afraid to put it in the side because I don't want epoxy the, the the layers together. I mean, they'll pop apart easy enough, but I just I don't want to do that. 
Okay, so, so how long do you think this is going to take to dry, and should we put it outside in the sunshine? Where it's I don't think we need to put it outside in the sunshine. It's five minute epoxy. So means, five minutes, but that which means about mean. forty. <laughs> yeah, it's also a little older five minute epoxy. I've had this for a couple of years. It's still good and still works, but I wouldn't trust it for at least half an hour. Okay. So you know we'll we, put that uh, aside and we'll bring it back out. Yep. Uh, is that? It's safe, right? Yeah, want, oh, there's yeah. nothing else that we're doing over there. Okay. Um, I'm just kind of letting the edges dry before I try and oh, paint it. the other parts of this. Um, stars. Stars. We had mentioned stars. We had mentioned stars. Well, I should probably pull up a file and print it out so we have a pattern so we can start cutting stars out of something. And I should probably grab the fusible interfacing. Yeah. I'll That'd be great. I don't know where that is, but I'll figure it out. Uh, it's in the bag over there with all the other fabrics. Yeah. You know, on top of the bags? other, yeah, things. Yeah. Uh, Rick Skinner's here. Better late than never. Hello. Hello, Rick. Um, Jerry Props, what did I miss? Not a whole lot. We no. epoxied some barrettes to <laughs> a breastplate. Well, there goes my water because I put it too far away. Bruno's helping you clean it up. Oh, that's good. I hope he doesn't lick anything inappropriate. Thank you. Just, yeah. Okay. Toby, you gonna help now? Okay. Oh, how's everybody else doing? Oh well. I was ever chewing on ice? Kara says, okay, you guys motivated me. I'm going to work on my Sylvie now. Jack of all trades is working on his Mando, right. on their Mac Mando helmet. Wow, I'm tired. Mando helmet. Mando helmets. I like the Those ones are very popular. Yes, yes they are. Okay, let's just open up Inkscape because I know I can use that in order to size a star. How tall do we want the, uh, the stars to be? on it. That's actually pretty small. Um, <clears throat> I... It's about 43 millimeters tall or in freedom units that are one and five eighths. size or bigger. Okay. Or slightly bigger. Yes. You didn't drop your water, you dropped mine. I'm so, I don't think I've drank out of that one yet. Yeah, I know, but this one had your name on it. <laughs> right. I just, my habit is put them out of camera and the two of them are next to each other and I just knocked it right off the table. That's okay. I still got me. Yeah. What's that? Oh, Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Good morning. Good morning. We're awake here. No, we're not. <laughs> Do you think it got stuck in the bag upstairs? Is there a bag upstairs? Well, isn't there a bag of uh... fabric? No, it's not over there. Okay. I didn't see it, but usually I'm good at playing I Spy. Right. So I usually. <laughs> That's a big star. That is a big star. Um, what did we say we wanted to do this in? Um, freedom units. Right. And let's do it a two inch star. Two inch star. Okay. See how that looks like and then get one slightly bigger and slightly smaller. Oh, sure. Okay. Because you can print out multiple at the same time and then decide which ones look fine. <laughs> better next to each other. At least that's what I typically do because it's never the one I think it's going to be. Wrong. Okay. Printing stars. I'm going to give it one last try to see if I can find a fabric. Two five? Yeah. 
I'll go all the way up to I'm clicking the thing, dragging the thing, at least I think I am. Can he do it? No, he can't! <laughs> This is the most exciting live stream Odin ever. Watch Odin fumble with the mouse and Inkscape and... and watch it not print. <laughs> That's okay. I still can't find it. It's not in here. I think it might be upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Jerry Props is saying, is saying, I'm making my Starro mask. So now I'll be part of Starro Makes. <laughs> That's awesome. Those turned out awesome. Those were a fun one. Those were fun, and, and we are planning on taking them to Silicon. So, yeah. <laughs> Going to be silly in Silicon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go against the grain on this one painting to help reduce the brush strokes. I learned that trick from Joe. Right. Not in there, is it? No. Yeah, I think it's upstairs. Okay. I'll go look upstairs. That's weird because I don't remember seeing it upstairs, but all right. Well, it might not have. Um... So we went to the fabric store yes, the last week after the right. live stream, and right. we grabbed the things, but I don't know if they got left here because I did not bring any of the fabric home with me. Well, they came in. I remember seeing the fabric in here because... You guys showed it to me. I know, but I think they may have left with it too. I'm not sure. Okay. I thought it was here, but I couldn't find it. Yeah. It's okay. If we don't use the white, we could use the foam. Okay. The one millimeter foam if we can't find it. I can, uh, I can run upstairs and look real quick. I'm just going to be leaving the room. I can also go run. Is anyone upstairs? I don't know if I can look. Oh, okay. I'll just run upstairs. It's fine. Okay, you'll run. Yeah. <laughs> James Allen says, I finally get to watch more than a half an hour of the stream. Sweet! And you're watching us run around with our chicken, like chickens with their heads <laughs> cut off. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you stay, Bruno. Bruno, stay come here. Room. Yeah. So, we got to get another coat of paint on all our accessories. I'm trying to hide all our brush strokes because last time I went this way, this way, I'm going to go this way, get a coat on, and then go back over the other way. And hopefully that'll reduce brush strokes. Learned that trick from Joe. Kara Skywalker, that's totally definitely the first time fabric has been left there. <laughs> fabric gets left here all the time. Looks like you guys are going to have some fun with that Stario masks. Okay. I know. So much more boring when it's just me and no Odin. <laughs> I'm just sitting here painting. Oh well. see the difference of the old paint and the fresh coat going on. Hello. Mm -hmm. Did you find it? Mm -hmm. It's missing in action? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's not the only way to make stars.
It's like real life I spy. Skywalker saying, Felicia, what's your least favorite costume you've ever built? Hmm, least favorite. Interesting. Least favorite. There are some weird ones, there were some bad ones, but what is the least favorite? Do you have a least favorite prop, Odin? They were asking me costume, but. Right. Um, yeah, I'm really not, I really don't like Bumblebee's face. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that one's definitely, yeah. <laughs> you can switch it over. Oh, okay. Um, well, I can just do. I'm not doing very good at switching at the moment. Oh, okay, well, yeah. bring it back, that's fine. Yeah. On camera, you can really see where I'm painting where I'm not. <laughs> I was like, oh, look. I can. Right. Yeah, you totally can. Well, we can go back to being No, it's a, okay. I just four. was referencing. I was like, oh, look, I can totally see my coverage. Whoop, whoop. Felicia's taking over. Go, Felicia. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> but least favorite costume. Oh, I've had some bad ones. Those birds were god awful. Right. Did an anatomically correct cat, but that was fun. Um, for Noah, remember? What's that? Sorry. For, for Smosh, we did the cat costumes. Those were awful. The cat co costumes were awful, yes. Did an anatomically correct one for Noah. You did? Yeah, because he had a scene where he was supposed to be looking himself for every cat ever. Okay. And it was technically correct, and they ended up having to blur it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sure they would. <laughs> it was too much fun, you know. Yeah, but that one was, I wouldn't say my worst. I guess it's technically not a costume, okay? But I would have to say the worst is when we dressed Ian up as Peanut Butter Baby. Right. Because you think, oh, Ian covered in peanut butter, that'd be sexy. No. <laughs> no. Now, Peanut Butter Baby is a meme, effectively, right? It's, it's uh, or, some or kid some sort of... covered them themselves in peanut butter and it made internet history and it's hilarious. Right. And so, of course, we had to dress Ian up. As, yeah, smear him with peanut butter, because it's, it's easy to write. <laughs> yes. Paula was a genius when she put a wig on him before we covered him in peanut butter, because, oh my Oh, yeah, because that wasn't going to be washing out. Well, it would eventually, but... Not at the Smosh uh, studio, because the hot water was garbage. <laughs> at the, 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 the Sims... At the, at the Sim yeah. Studio. That, I've it, never actually used the shower there. Oh, okay. Like, From, I just know we had a shower. Yeah, there was a shower. I never really used a shower either, but I know that the hot water heater was there in name mostly. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've had to deal with that too much, because if I needed hot water, I just... Okay. Yeah. But I would say that was the worst costume because I did not realize that it was going to be so nasty and I just couldn't stop gagging. <laughs> like it was just scraping it off. I thought it'd be fine. You know, it's just peanut butter, whatever. No, but I feel like that was like awful. <laughs> like, that was pretty awful. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting it to be as awful as it was, you know? Mm-hmm. So... I, I'm going to say Ian's peanut butter baby was the my least favorite costume ever. It was hilarious. Totally do it again, but... But ick, right. Ick factor seven, Mr. Zulu. <laughs> mm. I remember you mentioning more than once that the smell of peanut butter for a while was... Yeah, like I did not expect such a... <laughs> adverse reaction you know it, it is like it just it did not seem like something that would be so gross right it's just peanut butter it's just a person nope 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 <laughs> it was skippy <laughs> it was skippy yeah it was skippy it was vegetable shortening oh jeez. so i that would i that is the winner for today of the worst costume so far yet 
Yes. <laughs> the worst day of your life so far. So far. Um, Sean Karg says they're working on an astronaut costume using the same paint drop cloth for the jumpsuit that was used for the indoor ponchos. Nice. It's a great heavy duty fabric. It is a great heavy duty it's canvas fabric. It's muslin. It's, yeah. It's cheap, but yeah. And I'm sure if it's washed, it'll be. Uh, not you don't like that smell do you no the smell really the one particular cloth we have has got not the best smell and uh it's, it's just kind of mildewy a little it bit like and it's a little little scratchy yeah so i imagine if it was washed it would it would behave more like a fabric i'd actually want to wear <laughs> yeah because it's definitely a drop cloth but it is cotton it's 100 it cotton. percent cotton fiber it's, so it, it still is. has all the properties of cotton yes and it still washes and acts and breathes like cotton it's yes. just a more industrial grade i would say probably not yeah. highly processed it's raw it's more not raw bleached. cotton yeah no it's not it's natural yeah so no I, I remember making more of a fantasy space suit and i used the uh, vinyl backed drop cloths because they there's there's these cotton ones like this but the at, at, at some of the other uh, hardware stores you can get ones that were, could at one time uh -huh. that were just basically sprayed with vinyl on one side so they were white and uh it didn't breathe at all of course but um no i know i like the way it looked <laughs> um interesting i wouldn't have thought of using that as a source so i did um made a lot of like things that i've had to make waterproof fabric projects underarm um dress things so you don't get pit stains where you use a lined <laughs> Mm -hmm. cotton fabric or like baby diapers where they make the reusable ones i worked on a pattern for those really fun projects but i'm like now i'm going oh wait. but i wouldn't want to use drop cloth because that fabric's itchy mm -hmm. but i like that it's vinyl lined <laughs> right but no that's not going to breathe but a cotton would help with the yeah i like that size yeah so that size or this size i like this size okay. but I want to see that size compared to this size. Yeah, that's a little bigger. But this would be too big for this. But I think this... You think that size would be good for, for the shorts? For the for, stars, for the... yeah. Because that would be this piece. I don't want to get gold on it. I think that size star would be good. Okay, yeah. I can stop cutting this one, I suppose. Right? <laughs> if this one, I want to. If this one works, yeah. yeah. If this one works, okay. Yeah, but you don't know until you have them all. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. You need to hold it up. And compare. Hey, look at now we can make you a, a tiara. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Because this almost works as a tiara. If I had a wig on, this would work great as a tiara. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sean Carg says they made a hazmat suit from trash bags and duct tape. Ooh, that must have been a sauna. I bet it was, but hazmat suits are. Pardon yeah, me. plastic <laughs> does not breathe. No, not at all. And you will be in, you will be your own soup, people soup. <laughs> um, there are ways to help with ventilation. There are. And wearing cotton does help. It does. It wicks, but yeah, plastic does not breathe. No, not even a little bit. I love using it as a material, but. Right. It doesn't breathe, no, no. Now that it's foam. Yeah. Uh, Will Connor says, and I missed the whole pre-show because I ran out of paint and had to run to the store. Oh, That's okay. We're just running around with their heads chopped off. Oh, yeah. Trying to figure out what we're doing next. <laughs> Jerry Prop says, question for Felicia. I'm making a link hat for my three-year-old. Okay. Any tips on how to make it for someone with such a tiny head? Um, Cut small parts. Ian had a huge head, so we had the opposite problem. Right. Not the... <laughs> no, not calling him egotistical or anything. Um, no, just he had a large-sized head. He did, and then adding a wig on top of that. That Made was... It, yeah. And we stitched it to the wig because it was easier to do that than to stitch it to his head, but... Right. Um, maybe actually use a base cap. Like one of those little knit stocking caps. Like, just so you have something that you can stick it to their head that'll stay on, that's comfortable. Or a wristband. You know, thinking about attaching it to the wig. Because if you're doing it for a kid, their heads, they don't stay still. Kids don't stay still. They're not going to. They're going to pull at things. Right. They're going to go reenact the video game outside. 
yeah, they're gonna run around. They're gonna go, ha, ha, you know? I don't know why he does that, but he apparently does. Um, but yeah, I would use a, um, like a stocking cap as a base or um, a rib knit for a band to hold it to the head and then do the cone shape from there. Probably do a shape like, not just a straight cone, it'll naturally flop over, but if you do a curve into the cone, I don't know. Made a couple of those, but if you attach it to a, a stocking knit cap for a little kid, I think it would help keep, be comfortable on their heads and it wouldn't be squishy or itchy or painful in any way. Because I know kids are sensitive to things like that. Uh. <laughs> Man with a plan, peanut butter baby. Spared no expense. Spared no expense. That's right. <laughs> peanut butter baby spared no expense. Um. It's pretty much time to go live. So such a tiny head. The, the real truth is, is like the head size doesn't particularly matter with the pattern. I would just make sure it stays. But... Are we going to go live for everybody now? Yeah, we need to go live for everybody now. It's noon, right? It's noon. It's noon 01. It's noon 01. It's, it's noon, noon 0 late. <laughs> you late. Oh, yeah. It's... And public. Done. Save. Public time, Odin. Yep, well, clicked it over to public. Thank you for uh, backseat driving. All right. Uh, <laughs> Keeps us up. One yep. Check. So, we are public. We are live. We are public. We are live. We are live. I heard you put a poll up. I had put a poll up uh, yesterday, uh, a little late. It was one of those things that we had joked about uh, during the last stream. Someone actually brought it up in, in, in the comments. And so I put a poll up. And the poll is doing really, really good with an overall a yes. Uh, basically, you know, we've we've got the Wonder Woman costume finished. Uh, would it, people be interested in seeing Joe modeling the Wonder Woman when we get it done? <laughs> and overall, it was yes. Now I did actually add one other thing to the poll, which would be you know, um, would would people be interested in donating to the super chat to make that happen? <laughs> so if we reach our goal, so if we reach our goal then Joe will be wearing the Wonder Woman costume at the end of the stream. That's right. <laughs> so, that's exciting. That is exciting. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Should be a lot of fun. It's... He could wear the Wonder Woman costume inside of the Gundam costume. Yeah, he could. <laughs> What's funny is I think it would take a lot longer to get the Gundam costume on than the one, but still, maybe not. I shouldn't say that. I don't know. I don't know his skill in dressing himself. I don't think I've ever tied them, so I don't know. <laughs> but I know the, uh, the gun costume is not something you can uh, dress yourself in. So that's definitely... No, no, you definitely need a handler. Yeah, you definitely need help with that. Yes. Hi, Bruno. He, they're, like, knocking my feet, saying, uh -huh. pay attention to me. Oh, of course they are. But they're both being good, which is very, very, very appreciated. They usually are. Yeah. Well, Bruno's never is, but Toby always is. Yeah, there you go. They balance each <laughs> they other balance out. They balance each other out. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're going to be famous. Um, we, I took them to go get Starbucks this morning okay. and got them their little puppuccinos. Right. And they got their pictures taken, so they're going to be on the that Starbucks <laughs> Instagram oh, account. Okay. They're like, is it okay? And I'm like, it's, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. They have their own Instagram account already. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, no, I totally put them all over the internet. You can. <laughs> so they're going to be famous. Nice. Eventually. Eventually. They're not on camera at the moment. No, they're by the my way, feet. What's that? I said they're at my feet. Sorry. To right. That's all right. Here. No, it's fine. Uh, by the way, hello, everyone. Welcome to the public portion of the Odin Makes live stream. It's Sunday, and for the next two hours, we're going to be streaming to you live coming from our little spot in California. Uh, my name is Odin, and... I'm Felicia. And we Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> And we both do this weekly live stream where we've been making parts of costumes uh, that, that in the end of, of all the little sequences can kind of come together. In this particular 
sequence that we've been doing, this particular little series, has been all the different Wonder Woman accessories. Because as Felicia has said on many times through many live streams, accessories are what make the costume. So we're making the accessories. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like Wonder Woman, you can accessorize almost any red bodice and blue bottoms. And blue bottoms, yeah. Blue bottoms, yeah. She yep. has pants, she has culottes. She doesn't typically wear a skirt, though. No. I know. I, I used to use the Supergirl skirt for the one when people wanted to come in and be Wonder Woman, but they didn't want to wear the swimsuit. Okay. They wanted the skirt. Right. And I was often told, but Wonder Woman doesn't really wear a skirt. It's culottes or whatever. <laughs> right, but, whatever um, it is. But yeah, no. You just accessorize. Yeah. Red, white, and blue. It works. Because I think each, for a while, she used to fight crime in a little go-go dress, a little white go-go dress in the 70s for a bit. I think so. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds, that sounds familiar. So, like Wonder Woman is very versatile and I love it because you can just do your version. Right, just do your version, exactly. Uh, we're having lots of people pop in. Uh, Mr. Race, yeah, Mr. Race says, hello. Hello, hello. Mr. Race. Uh, Jorts has been, have, uh, no, the goal has not been achieved at all yet. Uh, the Kelvin is here. Hello, Odin. Hello, the Kelvin. And if I remember correctly, this whole goal thing with getting Joe to model uh, was, was your idea, wasn't it, Kelvin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gabriel804 Ward just yells out, Odin! And we got a hi from Cole Francis. Hello. And Kara Skywalker says, wait, the dogs have their own Instagram? They do. Toby yeah. loves Bruno on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I post pictures of them doing adorable things all the time. All the time. Because <laughs> I find them the most adorable things ever. Look at I had a pair of scissors. There they are. Did you though? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to cut stars out and I don't, you know, my own little whatever isn't letting me cut over the paper because I'll cut through the paper. Right? I can scoot over. <laughs> That's all right. Because <laughs> I need to cut, you know, a dozen or so stars out, right, fairly quickly. Well, yeah. Ish. Ish. <laughs> Quickly ish. Quickly ish. Quickly ish. Uh, Nick Avani at says, finally I'm on time. Hello. Well, Hello, welcome. Nick. Glad you could join us. Absolutely. What are you guys all working on? Right. Uh, Stormy's asking, what's the best thing that you've ever made? <laughs> um, love. Yeah, love. <laughs> 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 a family? Um, I don't know. I, I feel like the kind of, I like the sets that I've built. Yeah, exactly. I usually go to say that too, because it was that Star Trek set that I had built way back in like 98. Yeah, because they feel bigger. Exactly, they do feel bigger. They're a giant prop. Right, they are. They're a giant prop you can stand in. Like the Bat Cave was a fun one. That was yeah. that wasn't fun, but it was a crinkled paper Bat Cave we made for Smosh. Yeah, it looked amazing. Thank you. Yes, it did. But um, that that took some time to do. No, I, I uh, <laughs> and like three uh, different people and <laughs> four different people to work on it. I feel you a hundred percent. I'm sure you do. My favorite set is that one we did with the puppets and the werewolf, the V. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because... Yes, yes, that one with the, with the music video, Werewolf. Yeah, that yeah. one was my favorite build because I was given the instructions of an 80s Tokyo apartment that's monochromatic, but when you beat it with a bat, it bursts into color. Right. So you do a that's lot That's of... also haunted and possessed, sort of like Evil Dead. Yeah. <laughs> now Stuff make that into move. a music video. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fun, so I, it's not a prop, but I think that one's my favorite. Right, but it was a it was a specialized set that had lots of stuff that moved. Right. Yeah, it's kind of a prop, for sure. Uh, I remember another set that I did that I really enjoyed uh, was again Smosh, where. In the middle of having to do a bunch of other work stuff for my day job, I would then drop by Smosh when I wasn't working and built the White House so we do Kanye for president. And I that was I remember that and I have lots of it. <laughs> Anyways. Yes, of course you do. And um no, that was that was a lot of fun. Um because yeah. it had to make the the big windows that were they had the lattice and went and, and rented uh Kanye uh, for president. Kanye for president. The presidential desk from 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 a used yeah. 
that was really fun. I really did enjoy that one. And oh my gosh, did Anthony make a beautiful Kim Kardashian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love those two so much. So much. We have a 10 pound, no, 10 euro super chat from Ralph Morick. It's for Wonder Joe. How much more do we need? Um, uh, 10 pounds. We're, 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 we're 10 pounds in so far. <laughs> what was the goal? Uh, 200. Two hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's doable. Should be should be doable. Get Joe in a skirt that way. Well, no, yeah. no skirt. No, no skirt. Just, no skirt. just, just. Wonder uh, Woman doesn't wear a skirt, necessarily. 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 Wonder Woman can. Wonder Woman. She can, she can wear whatever she wants. That's right. Right. She can kick. I mean, Gal, butt Gal, in a Gal dress, so. Yeah. Yeah. She wears a slatted skirt, so I guess that's technically a skirt. Yes. Yes. But we don't have one for ours, so. No, we don't. Uh. Um, Andrew James says, hello from the UK. And oh crap, my 3D print just failed. There's there's a mantra for anyone who 3D prints. I'm sure we're all quite aware of that. Uh, James, I'm sorry. It's not fun when your 3D print fails. That is that is a lot of disappointment, and I, I, I feel you. But it, it, that, that's, that's such a familiar thing to, to say. That, yeah, unfortunately. Our hearts go out to you. Our hearts totally go out to you. That is not cool. Yes. I just want it to work. <laughs> right. I just want to print. I can hit print and a piece of paper spits out. How come I can't hit print and the Mando helmet doesn't just spit out? <laughs> uh, we got here Wonder Joe. That's right. That's uh, the Kelvin coming in again. We need a full nightmare costume to go with that incredible sword back there, Odin. Well, thank you. Um, I'm not sure if I'm quite quite ready to commit to a full nightmare costume. That's Sounds like a nightmare. Cliff Olivier says, hello from Portugal. I hope everyone's having a nice day. I think I am. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Hello, Cliff. I can't complain. I'm here. Right. I'm enjoying this. I've got a lot of my friends here. Mm -hmm. I get distracted. So I'm, I'm uh, slowly working on cutting out white stars that we can adhere, hopefully, because these are just foam. Mm -hmm. So we can... Uh, I was have... thinking of how we were going to stick them on. Fair enough. Do we do we have a? I mean, I can stop. Do we have a thought? No, I was just thinking of using a spray glue. Okay. Oh yeah, the Eileen um, spray glue. Because we have the the Eileen's one, which is a temporary, which right. makes really good stickers, fabric stickers that okay. hold through an entire set. Well, yeah, that's all we need. And so it'll look good, but it won't wash, and they'll be gone after the first time you wear them. Yeah. But that's all we really need. But if we use a more permanent adhesive. They'll be stuck there forever. Right. But I don't know if we need they them to still, be stuck there forever. I think they'll still come off in the wash. Uh, maybe, um, maybe it's not, still a hand wash item because this fabric is... Um, right. I know it looks really good on camera. That's why I chose it. But it's not... Um, it's costume fabric. Yeah. It's hand wash. It is. You sweat too much. It'll give you little salty lines on it. It's not going... It's hand wash. So I'm not really trying... I'm not worried about ruining this. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't think that adding, a, um, gluing these permanently is going to ruin it. Because I wouldn't wash it necessarily in a regular load of laundry anyways. Mm -hmm. I would, you would hand, hand wash, wash it in the sink and let it drip dry. Right. Or lay it flat to dry on a towel. Because dripping, you could also... Right. It's... End up with those same type of, of uh, salt streaks. It all kind of depends on the fabrics and how... I don't think that this is that delicate, but... But just trying to be careful with just it. Just hand wash it and then just lay it to dry. And I feel like if we glue foam stars to it and we hand wash it and lay it out to dry, it'll be fine. Okay. So I'm leaning towards spray adhesive. Sounds good to me. The fabric that we couldn't find was a non-woven... Fusible interfacing that we're pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I walked that out and gave it back to you when you left last time. Because that was my instructions to do so. <laughs> I will but, double check the car, but okay. I will double check things. But good thing I don't need it. Need it right this moment. Moments, right? So, uh, Delane Embry of the five dollars super chat says, "Odin, I love your laugh, and Felicia is so adorable." Oh, thank you. Thank you. So we're getting closer we're to getting Wonder closer. Joe. Right. Make sure you're okay. So yeah. I wish I realized this before 
Because I didn't know you'd put up the poll because I wasn't right. paying attention. Oh, that's okay. We just went I have yesterday. a wig that we could have put him in. Oh yeah. And I just like I was like, oh, I could grab that. Right. Well. Yeah. You know. Oh well. It became kind of a rush to get out of the house and try and get here and get a few things accomplished before the stream and. <laughs> We're just live. There's a right. train going. There's a train on. going by and. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Thank you guys for joining us. And Definitely. Putting up with our crazies. So. As I sit here and just cut out stars, I've got four. Because <laughs> at this point, I'm, then I try to hold it and then cut two at once. So I can at least get a little more done going. Kara Skywalker just came in with $6.90. Because <laughs> Joe there. is going to rock it. Yep, we are getting there. Um, Garrett Wittenberg says, I have a great idea for a coffee shop. Duct tape coffee. Uh, when you don't want to be a copyright strike. Thank you for the ideas, guys. <laughs> Great coffee brought to you by duct tape. Yes. Uh, Brent, Brent Ling first says, Hey, Odin, I'm in need of some advice. I was working on a prop hidden blade and tried making it from thin plexiglass, but it's more difficult than I like. Any materials mm -hmm. you'd suggest? Plexiglass sounds awful to be working with. Right, plexi, yeah. For, yeah. Legit, legit plexiglass uh, acrylic. If you've got a nick in the side, it'll, it'll split and break pretty easily. Um, I've done some pretty awful things. With, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what would I want to suggest that's that's like easy to work with? Um, well, I know. You can get polycarbonates uh, a lot thinner, which can still be called plexiglass, but plexiglass is typically acrylic. Polycarbonate is a um, the same fabric the safety glasses is are made out of. Is that what my phone's made out of? Yes. What's your phone's made out of? My phone's made out of it, too. Um, because it's still... It gives. If, uh, if you were to stress plexiglass, it'll actually shatter to the extent that pla plastic will shatter, right? And break apart to a few pieces. Uh, plexiglass will just bend and, and ultimately turn white. It doesn't, you, you can't, that's why they use it for safety glasses. It doesn't break. Um, the, and it's used for bulletproof windows. You use layers of, of uh, polycarbonate with other things to, to make your bulletproof window. Um, what else could you make it out of? Somebody S says cast it in resin instead. Cast it in resin could work. Um, you might you still have a you still have a little bit of that brittle with the resin. Resin's resin's really good, but something long and thin like that is going to be um, uh, not horribly delicate, but you know, a little bit. Um, Sintra, eh, that's flexible enough. Yeah. It's a tough one. It's actually a prop I've kind of avoided because of this exact issue. <laughs> there's there's mechanical things that have to go on. It needs to be low enough to the forearm that it, it can be, be believable that it's hidden. And then you need it to spring out and actually work right. So when so you're like, Jackie made it, right. she cast it in resin. Okay. And it didn't spring action. It was kind of clunky, but the pieces were solid. Okay. And the knives really worked. Okay. But the mechanics of it were nowhere to be found. When went back to do it again, the second time I was just like, I don't have the ability. Right. <laughs> so we got the toy. Yeah. And the toy just used a soft rubberized plastic that when you stab it just, you know, like yeah, which rubber is knife. And so it didn't actually like stab anyone. Right. Which that makes sense. Yeah. So it's not an easy... Not an easy prop. No, it's not an easy not prop. Not an easy prop. That one is definitely on the intimidation list of just right. technical difficulties in such a small area. Right. Um, Do you really have to chop off your finger to make it work? <laughs> Hopefully not. Right? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But they had lots and lots of generations before they figured out how they didn't have to. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> it was complicated in the video game itself. It was. That's my excuse. <laughs> but good luck with that. Good luck with that. Resin. That was... I feel like there's 
no wrong way to do it, but I haven't figured out the right way. <laughs> right. Uh, man of the plan. Man with a plan pops in with a four dollar super chat, saying Joe needs to happen. <laughs> Joe must happen. Probably should. Um, what do you need? Um, I probably should keep a list. I probably should, you know. <laughs> Add it up. Well, doesn't it have a tally? Does it have a tally? I thought it did. It probably does. It's just not, it needs to really not be in my way. There it is. Yes, it does. Good. It does. It doesn't tell me who all who all who all chipped in, but I do have a running total in my in my uh, super chat tally. And, and... yes, hi. <laughs> I'm looking for where it tells me the things you can use these on. But Will Connors just popped in with a ten dollars super chat. Wonder Joe, which is very cool. Detlef P says epoxy. Yes, an epoxy resin would be good. Does it need to stand up to stabbing? Mm, well, I would hope not, but that's, you know. <laughs> How it, much use and abuse is it going to take? And could it just a piece of foam work at a certain point, you know? Right. But, yeah. Where is the... Well, I'm not worried about uh, the, the spray glue hurting the foam. No, 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 I just was wondering because, you know, fabric glue is a little bit different than other glues because there's a little bit of a flexible element to it. True enough. But this is for plastic, papers, metals, and cardboards. Right. I know fabric's listed, but not typically what you'd use it for, but I would... Use it for fabric. Yeah, like I've, used, and... I've used sprayed 77 on fabric. Yeah, I've had to. This stuff I know works temporarily amazingly and makes your own fabric stickers. Right. But I was curious if this one, but nope, this one isn't. Do we have enough of the Eileen's? Yeah. Okay. This is pretty, yeah. That is pretty full? Yeah. I'm going to just stab one and see how it works. <laughs> Not stab one. Spray one. Yeah. See how it works. But I won't spray in here because that's not nice. Right. That's appreciated. Let's not breathe in glue and foam dust. Yeah. <laughs> Get it really stuck in the lungs. I'll be right back. No problem. I wandered off at one point. That was more pre-show, but I did wander away looking for stuff. Alrighty, so I got a few stars cut out. I'll need a few more. So, yeah, Wonder Joe needs to happen. We're currently at $37 with a goal of $200 to get Joe to come out here modeling the Wonder Woman costume. Uh, why did we put a goal in? It sounded like a fun thing to do. It was a suggestion from one of you. So, we're going with it. What have we got here? Uh, David Oce Ocean AK says, Odin, how about making a Captain Carter shield and sword from the What If ep first episode? And also, how about making the Hydra Buster from that episode? <laughs> right. Now, I've been looking at the Hydra Buster. That is very cool, but not something I want to take on at the moment. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to wrap up Mechagodzilla, and I'll be honest, when I get done with doing the Mechagodzilla, I'm going to be okay with taking a wee little break. <laughs> hey, somebody's hey. here. Where's Felicia? She's outside uh, testing with the, the stars. I may have to glue them onto the... Oh, doing doing spray glue for, for stars to put onto the blue shorts. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes, definitely. So we are currently at thirty-seven seventy in the super chat. That's not enough. No, but no. we're getting there. No, that's not enough. <laughs> You're gonna look great in the high-waisted shorts. Oh boy. <laughs> you didn't wear boxers, did you? Uh, no, I did not wear. Oh, boxers. Oh, that's good. Okay. So. <laughs> All right, well, I will uh, let Felicia back on. <laughs> Wonder Joe from the Kelvin. Uh, Kara says, hey, Joe, you're going to look great in the Wonder Woman costume. <laughs> Kara has also contributed. <laughs> of course Kara did. Of course Kara did. <laughs> uh... Radical Jerry says, how about the towel cannon from Half-Life? 
I did the gravity gun. The Tau Cabin from uh, Canon was the first version, right? From from half. And that thing is a. I've actually looked at it. That's a pretty cool weapon. It's been considered. It's been considered. Yes, so it has been considered. The more you guys vocalize it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Ralph Morick came back with another ten euros, saying this needs to go faster. Wonder Joe. Well, we need to get a. Uh, Got a star. One I got star, a star for Odin. <laughs> I'm a one star builder. Bruno, all done. That sticks very well. <laughs> I am so sorry. I totally ruined your shirt because I did not let it dry before I stuck it on you. Hello. Good thing it washes out. Uh, yeah. And good thing this isn't exactly. Uh, it's kind of a work shirt. It's a, you know, $5 craft store shirt. It's working. We're having, we're having more requests. We got uh, Nero Sand from Double May Cry 4. Garrett Wittenberg. Oh, that was from Speed at World, by the way. Speed Art World. Uh, Garrett Wittenberg. I've always had a problem with glue sticking to me when sticking uh, together the thing that I want. Yes. Every glue. Yes. This Hot is glue. Super glue. Super glue. White glue. Contact cement. Glue stick. Yeah, that, that is a very, very, spray glue, very, very common problem, so... Um, Patience, who has that? Right. <laughs> Not me, obviously. Right, once I'm into like the third or fourth item, I'm trying to glue a bunch of things together, and I've got enough glue in my fingers, especially with contact cement, I can't let go of the thing, so I'm pretty sure I, I get what you're talking about. Just a little. Just a little bit. Water. I knocked my water cup off the table. <laughs> We're mopping the floor later. It's I already get a little blame cleaner. It on Bruno, so. Right. That was actually not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait to put all of these on. Yep. Right. Look um, at this cheap fabric. It is already losing its laminated layer. Oh, wow, it I is. I told you, this is not good no. fabric. Like, <laughs> it will look good, but it's not good fabric. <laughs> it's not good fabric. It's not, a, it's not a, yeah, it is it's not. It's a costume fabric. Good thing it's a costume. Good thing it's a costume. Mm -hmm. It's a costume. So we put all these on upside down, point down, right? That mm -hmm. way it's satanic Wonder Woman? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Don't mind me, I'm just in the background. That's fine, trying to find something. I see you looking. Yeah. Well, we got a couple super chats. Oh, we did? Yeah, did you see those? Uh, oh, J. Period just popped in with a $20 super chat saying, Wonder Joe to the rescue. And with Jay's contribution, we're up to $69. Ooh, almost halfway there, sort of. Quarter. Sort of. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much a third. Yeah. Okay, yeah, third. Yeah, pretty much a third. But of course, the internet should be really happy with the $69 total, too. But, you know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much for, for participating with us. You're welcome. I mean, you're not in the suit yet. but No, you know. not yet. <laughs> right now, I'm trying to figure out what, uh, what I'm going to put on eBay for you. So, oh, okay. Yeah. What do you guys want? I wouldn't Ooh, ask that. That's a question. Right? Don't. Dangerous question. And no, not puppy. It's right. not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Alice would kill us. <laughs> How many stars do you think we're going to need? Um, well, it looked like there was about 10 or so on, on the front and the back. So my plan was to cut out about 20, maybe. Okay. And then hopefully uh, we just won't use them all. So I'd rather cut out a bunch and then uh, not need them and then. not need them then then oh give me give me three four eight minutes and I'll cut out another few. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna do Sub Zero's mask. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So tomorrow this is gonna go up on eBay. Just so you guys know, <laughs> Sub Zero's mask. So. So if anyone isn't aware, Joe is totally in charge of putting stuff up on eBay, which is great because that takes it out of my hands. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So you guys actually get things. <laughs> and right. It helps him eat. So. <laughs> yeah. Get. Um... Oh look it, B Lynch. B Lynch. Yeah. Oh, B Bee Lynch. Supportive of your Wonder Woman. Oh. Doing Wonder Joman blowing you a kiss with a money bag. <laughs> <Mwah>. <laughs> 
we missed you for Among Us. Right. B. Lynch is one yeah. of the main players. Feels like one of the main players at, at, at Among Us for, for running around and stabbing each other in the back in a great game of, yeah. no, I didn't. <laughs> right? Yep. Which I'm, I'm apparently very good at stabbing people in the back because I keep on getting picked as the imposter. Right. I swear I'm not cheating. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. I know you're not. <laughs> the algorithm. I actually believe that you're not. But it is it is pretty dang sus that um, we let you be in charge of the game and you were the uh, imposter, imposter five out of the six games on Friday. Right. <laughs> actually, not... I, I, okay. That was the week before. Oh, okay. Yeah. The week before I was... Uh, I was the imposter most of the time, all but once. All but once, okay. Uh, so this did time, they just kill Joe? You know, that is one of the memes on the Discord is that, you know, just always vote Joe, because chances are he's the one who um, is the imposter, so I, I have to do a lot of marinating <laughs> um, in order to uh, keep from getting kicked off, or I just have to be really good with my partner and kill you all before... Uh, you call a meeting or find the bodies. Right. There, it is often we play with two imposters, so mm -hmm. Joe gets twice the chance each game to be the imposter. Right. Which is nice. <laughs> it's nice. Besides, then, like, I can help carry, carry. the other imposter. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the stupid monkey did a really good job. Yes. Last last time, so he, he, was, he was a great imposter. Yes. Buddy, so, yeah. So, if you want to play Among Us with us on Fridays... At 11 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time, um, you need to have access to our Discord. So How do um, they get that? You get access to the Discord by joining Patreon at at least the $5 level, I think. Yep, yep. Yeah. So. At the $5 level. And Jack of All Trades is, I'm sure, posting a link for uh, for those who want to go see it. Right. And that'll get you 24-7 you know, access to the Discord, get you, uh, get you the opportunity to be part of the Among Us game uh there's been a an odin makes jeopardy themed game happening yep. in the last couple of saturdays yeah that's been uh this was the what second or third one that just happened i think it was the third one right yeah or was it the second yeah. so yeah so we we do a lot of fun stuff on the discord um mm -hmm. you also get access to the live stream 45 minutes early so if you want to get a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time with odin and felicia um then that's a good time to do it. So um, jump on to uh, Patreon. Uh, $5 level is the uh, level that you need to be at to get all of those perks. So, But it's a fun community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah. have a good time. It's growing, so. and yep. I know we don't always interact, but I do. I do totally you do. just. You do totally interact and pop in and give... Give give hints and and, 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 and share your experience. Yes, Felicia's so on the Discord as well. <laughs> and we just hit 100 members we on the did Discord. just hit 100 yeah, members we just hit 100 members and so. we celebrated the wrong person but we were glad they're part of the Discord. <laughs> yes well you know <laughs> number 100 we're thankful for you. Yeah, thank you thank you number 100 so and all you 90 other nine thank yes you. thank you everyone um so i my other question odin is yes. where is uh, this week's videos prop that i need to paint it is in the room on top of the uh, uh, Mono X. Oh, before okay. you leave, I had a painting question. Oh, yeah. What's up? Right now we're waiting for epoxy to dry, so we can't paint it. Oh, yeah. What? Can I move it? Yeah. Okay. It's been, it's been close to an hour. So it's been more than five minutes. Oh, yeah. It's been more than five minutes. Oh, it's good. We wanted to... The original W has a thick black line, you know? Like, okay. the whole thing's not, like... Just, cartooned where they mm -hmm. all has the black line but we definitely have these lines and want to kind of emphasize them what would you suggest a wash first um so uh, a really thinned down uh black paint or even a brown paint if you want to just have it just be a little bit more subtle i said brown yeah. you don't mean yeah, yeah, yeah. well, well i was thinking it was it was cartoon and we we're going to need to put right. more of a you know, computer terms, stroke on it, and not right. just uh, not just a wash in order to get the really thick black lines. Yeah, the thing is, is none of our other props have a thick line thing on them. So why would the W, other than the W we picked, 
had those thick lines on it. Right. So it's like I feel like the lines need to oh, be wow. some kind of emphasized, but. So my suggestion would be actually to uh, do the brown first, see how you like it, and then do black afterwards because you can always go darker. Yes. Can't always go lighter. So, right. Um, so try brown, then try black. Okay, well, we're going to need to go pretty quick because Maker JP just popped in with a 50 pound donation. <laughs> so we're up to $150 in the super chat. <laughs> oh boy, I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> you knew this was happening. <laughs> Wasn't this your idea? So, no, full, this full, was not my idea. This was your yeah, guys' yeah, idea. Yeah, this was the Kelvin's idea, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Oh, Lewis is here. Hey, Lewis. Uh, but. Um, Yesterday, the, the poll that we posted, it was a we posted. This guy actually did all the typing and <laughs> for, for the post. So yeah. it wasn't like I'm, I'm, I'm forcing you into this sort of. No, no, no just, just peer pressure. That's just all. peer pressure, yeah, yeah. Just peer pressure. Come on, you'll, yeah. you'll. It's just wearing a costume. Who cares? It'll it's be just, fun. Yeah, no, I've, it's I've a worn, costume. I've worn worse costumes. Yeah. 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 What was the worst? We were talking worst costumes lately. Oh, worst costumes? What's the worst one Let's you've see. worn? Um, the worst costume I wore was probably when I was in, el in elementary school. And I wore I wore a dress and a tinfoil um, mask. Um, I was making kind of my own supervillain. Because I liked supervillains when I was a kid. Yeah, so, well, I still do. Yeah. <laughs> Bubble scorpion. Um, <laughs> My alter ego was Josephine. Okay. Yeah. And she fiend. Josephine. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So. So putting on, like Wonder Woman's costume will not be, completely different than things I've be... worn in the past. So. Okay. Yeah. It'll be fun. It will be fun. Yeah. Well. All right, I will get some brown wash into. I'm gonna put a layer of gold before we do that. But yeah. right, cool. Thank you. That was yeah. One of them. No. No. Dented. One of them dented. All the others were fine. Maybe, that one. Maybe dented. a little bit of heat will. Uh, it should. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go deal with eBay. Okay. I gotta. You gotta deal with eBay. Yeah, it's gonna launch tomorrow morning, so. Right. I gotta get it ready to go. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. Just uh, text me when we hit to 200. All right. And All we're right. also trying to rush through to get the parts done. All right, oh, we yeah, got another that... 50. We did? Oh, from Sean Carg. Wow. Yeah, that's going to happen. Great job. The All company. right. I'll see yep. you guys at the end of the stream. $200.63. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so pretty. We need 6 more cents. No, we don't. We're there. 200 No, no. Uh -oh. it would be 69 Six, cents. $200.69. Yep. Sean Carg, thank you. Yeah, it's going to happen. Okay, that did take out... That little bump. Okay. Would it started opening up these lines more, <laughs> so I it stopped. would. Well, open up the lines may not be bad. Yeah, I know it may not be, but I just didn't want to overdo it on one side and not the other. Oh, fair enough. Now, are you using the heat gun or a hair dryer? That was dryer? a hair dryer because it was just that little from the C forty seven. Okay. It was just I'm actually surprised the hair dryer was opening up the lines. I think it's because I was hanging it, the weight, and then okay. the I don't know, but I stopped. Okay. Here, I just tried to cut out four all at once. Hopefully I didn't ruin any of them. They're stars. It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> when the stars align. When the stars align. So we need to get this done really quick so we can get Joe in this thing and maximize the Joe time. All right. <laughs> I will get another coat of... Is that bothering you? Yeah, it really, really does bug me because it just does this. And then I'm picking little parts off of it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what bugs me. <laughs> I'm okay now. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. Let me get some more gold on this, and then we'll do that little wash, and then this will be dry enough for him to wear. I mean, have you not had, um, you're doing something like this, and you suddenly inadvertently make a bunch of confetti, and then it's stuck in the damn paint? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you've done that before. <laughs> I try to avoid the, 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 the beginnings of it, you know, whenever I can. <laughs> yes. You see the disaster before a disaster hits because uh, that disaster has been there a few too many times. A few too many times, yeah. And I just, I don't want to fix it again. Can I not fix it again, please? Right. <laughs> Alrighty. We did it. Yeah, we just did it. Nice job, uh, JP and Sean from Ben and Lynch. A whole bunch of people in, in, in the super chat thanking, which, oh yeah, definitely. 
Um, so we're going to be done with this today. Yeah. And then next week we got our Stitch and Bitch. Uh, next week we got our Stitch and Bitch. And, and hopefully do a little bit of uh, Mechagodzilla, Mechagodzilla building. Because I still need to get Mechagodzilla done. <laughs> yes. Carlos Skywalker says, best stream ever. <laughs> Yay, we did it. The Kelvin is so happy right now because the Kelvin was the instigator of this whole thing. Just blame that guy right there with the Barney uh, uh, avatar. <laughs> it's the Kelvins. Uh, Mr. Ray says, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> I had a teacher named Miss Terry, so it was Miss Terry. Oh, that's awesome. I was like, what's the teacher's name? Miss, Miss Terry. Terry. No, like, what's her name? Miss Terry. Oh, okay. Yeah, Miss Terry. Miss Terry. Um... I think I've mentioned this before. My high school biology teacher, mm -hmm. uh, he had uh, his last name was Geek, G I E C K, but it was Geek. <laughs> so he was Mr. Geek. Mr. Geek. <laughs> yep. Fantastic biology teacher. I feel like that's a good superhero backstory. Right. story. We got a train. We got a train going by in the background. Yes. We're train. definitely live. We're definitely live. The the. What you hear is really honestly the train that is really honestly going by behind us. We used to uh, cut to the train cam. The train cam will probably come back. It's just uh, hasn't been here for a little bit, mostly because of the heat. Yes. Um, yeah, we closed the little hole that we poked in the box so that we could breathe because right. it was just too hot. It was just too hot. Yeah, we're going to break 100 again here today, so. Yay! Yep. In fact, I'm already sweating. Really? And, and we're in the air conditioned part of it, theoretically. <laughs> yeah. See, I can handle hot weather. I was born here in August. It's like my right. thing. But if it's cold, I can't move. Like, okay. I will not move. I will just sit there and, just sit there and I don't want to move my fingers because it hurts. Like, it's just right. cold. And I don't want to move. I don't want to function. <laughs> and I know people are like, well, I can handle the, the cold because you just layer up. And I'm like, no. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can handle the cold much better than I can handle the heat because it gets to a certain point that I can no longer eliminate excess heat. Yeah, but that's okay. I feel like I'll be very comfortable when I go to hell. <laughs> but with my luck, <laughs> it'll probably, probably true. freeze over. Yeah, you know, your hell will be an air-conditioned room, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is looking good. Got the W. Like. All right. Good solid gold coat on here. One more coat on that belt, and I'm gonna stop and not touch it anymore. Well, that's good. So I started out with uh, cutting out one star at a time, and now I'm up to four stars. I think at a time we're having these here. No, this is uh, five stars. Five stars. There. You got five, five stars. stars. Wait. Did I just throw them in? The, oh, okay. You can keep piece. the triangles. Okay, fine. I'll keep them long enough to throw them away. Oh yeah. I am going to go put this out in the sunshine for five minutes. Okay. And then, so we can wash it with, do the wash without ruining it. Okay. I just want this to be dry, dry. Alrighty. I don't think I took the laptop out of here, did I? You picked up the laptop. Yeah. You, you picked up the laptop and took it out. Maybe you didn't make it upstairs? Maybe you didn't make it upstairs. We were trying to find something else earlier today, and it, it, and it got, yeah. Huh. So, I don't know, it's a... And Toby's looking for Felicia. Uh, yeah, yeah, Toby's oh, concerned about Felicia not being here. Uh, Mr. Rooster says, is it time to see Joe in the costume yet? It will be very soon. Why is there a delay? We're trying to wrap up finishing the costume. We actually thought it would take longer to reach the goal, so sorry, but... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you guys got to wait. That's not, not fair, but... Um, yeah. What's not fair? That they have to wait, so... <laughs> So Will Wilkins, uh, good good friend from from play and and, and net heads, says yeah. At the point where you're naked on the tile floor begging for a breeze, you officially can't escape the heat any further. Will Will Will's kind of like me, you know, he's a little bigger guy and totally happy being in cooler weather. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'll <laughs> be very comfortable at home. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, well, you guys have but, fun. I'm going to go upstairs. Okay. okay. Um, we will call you down. Uh, yeah, just text in a little me. bit. Yeah, yeah. you just got to let things dry. And yeah. I got to add the wash to the W. Ooh, right. Cool. Good stuff. Toby wants to hold hands. Yes, Toby likes holding hands. My name is Toby, and I like holding hands. <laughs> oh, I found it. What did he lose? The laptop. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I'm glad he found it. Yeah, me too. That's important. <laughs> uh, Garrett Wittenberg says, hey, you have gremlins. Yeah, because we can't find anything. They yes, steal they stuff. Do. Yes, yes, they do. Uh, Randall Glegary says, Odin, I have two more suggestions with a question mark. Plasma cutter from Dead Space and or the bionic arm from Bionic Commando. Those arms. <laughs> wow, Bionic Commando. All right. <laughs> Those arms with well, a Bionic Commando arm, if I remember correctly, is, yeah, it was a. Bionic Commando was uh, the Hulk Hogan film, right? The late 80s, early 90s Hulk Hogan movie. <laughs> I, think the, I think the arm is... Traumarific. <laughs> it's, you know, it's. <laughs> oh, Maker JP says, thanks for all the free entertainment. Maker, thank you for, for, for tuning in and thank you so very much for the super generous offer. Yes. Appreciate that. And he was the one that did the. So uh, uh, he, he sent us the, the Witcher statue that he had sculpted. Yes. Yes. I super love that. cool. I hold it up and I pretend I won an award. Yeah, as you should. <laughs> I like to think. Maker JP for this. Yes, yeah, I like to think Maker JP, and I like to think. Uh, Vaughn Lud Ludland says hi, Odin, Felicia, and Joe. I must say, Felicia is looking particularly lovely tonight. Thank thanks you. for thanks for an awesome stream. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying your stream. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, is there you? You got this going. I am just getting one more coat of gold, so it's as gold as it could be. Okay. And then it's got to dry. Yeah. The W is outside drying in the sunshine, so okay. it should already be dry because it's 100 degrees outside. Right. And cuffs are done. Cuffs are done. Okay. Yeah, cuffs are done. I guess Headband is done. when I go out to go grab the W, I can go out and spray the stars with the sticky and let them just get sticky enough that okay. we can sticker you, them. Um, yeah. So I can... How can I help with that? Do you okay. want to do this? And I can do. I, will... I can do this. Yeah, I can do this. And I was thinking about. Uh, I guess that doesn't spray so much that it's going to blow those around, right? It kind of does. It kind of does. Yeah. It kinda, okay. It, it was not as easy as you would think. So what I was thinking about, because what I've done in the past is taking a little blue bit of blue tape, tape onto something, cardboard, paint sticks, piece of wood, yeah, to hold the stars down. It's like you've done this before. <laughs> a couple of times. I was doing that the other day, just painting little parts because they were kept moving around on there. Leaves in the wind. Leaves in the wind. Just like leaves. Just like sands in the hourglass, so is our leaves in the wind. What? Let me find something. I so let's see. Leaves in the wind. What 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 comes to mind for some crazy reason is the original 1978 Halloween, which. Um, had to be, you know, the setting for the movie had to be the fall, Halloween, October. Um, and it was also supposed to be, you know, uh, I can't remember which, <laughs> a non-California coast community, although there were palm trees everywhere, um, because they totally shot it in California. And they shot it in the spring. So they had no dried leaves at all. They ended up, um, I think, painting a bunch of uh, artificial paint, uh, plant leaves, I think is what they did. I don't think they, they got real leaves. I think it was artificial plant leaves that they painted. And so they had a grocery bag worth of f uh, fake leaves. And that's all they had. And every time you saw leaves blowing down the street or there were leaves in the yard to make it look like fall, it was the same bag of leaves. And, when they, and whenever the take was done, they had people that would run out just to collect those leaves because they couldn't get more. <laughs> I feel that, like, in my soul. I yeah. feel like that was every set. There yes. was some weird problem like that. And we, we need this to make it look right, but, but we, we can't lose them. <laughs> but we actually have to make them blow around because that's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. I remember somebody telling me that to make things look like New York, you just had to have garbage everywhere. Uh, well, yeah. And I think New York's cleaned up a little bit. Well, no, at least they did for a little really. while. Not really? All right. And I went there and I was like, oh, that totally makes sense now. <laughs> the maze on sun. You, if, if there's no garbage blowing around. If there's no garbage blowing. It's not New York. No. All right. Yeah. No, it's just one of those interesting things that I heard and I remember doing because we uh -huh. were doing a New York scene kind of a thing. Right. But it wasn't until I actually went there that it's like, oh, okay. It's like, what do you think? Oh, reminds me of a dirty Sesame Street. Right. So, yeah. That's exactly what it is. 
dirty as in littered. Yes. For all of you filthy minded individuals out there, because oh, I obviously didn't think about that at all. <laughs> oh, an Amazon box. Cat housing. Yep. <laughs> we just need something to put the tape on to, to hold the stars in place. Yes. Catching a little bit of lumpy in here, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We are trying to uh, talk and craft at the same time, but we're not always successful. We're at not that. very successful at that. It's, it can be very difficult to chew and chew and brain walk and brain. And So somebody posted a BTS photo of Stario Spores. Oh. Nice. Guard prop what up? Hey, in case you haven't seen it already, here's a Yeah. That's that great. Um, looks way too big. It's kind of on the scary side. Right. Well the this is on the Discord. People are still posting Starro pictures for me because you know I just made the Starro mask for, yeah. for my but when I did it, there weren't any pictures available because I was building it before the movie got released in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. So now that it's out and you can find it everywhere, everywhere people are like, oh, hey, here's this. It's like, I appreciate it. I've seen the movie. Now. <laughs> yeah. Now. I couldn't, I couldn't find them then. The best images I could find were the comic book images. And that's kind of why mine is sort of comic booky. Um, and I even tried to say it in the video that I couldn't, couldn't find images, you know, at the time that I was making the video. But... That is a great behind-the-scenes image, and it's definitely one of the better ones that I've seen. So thank you. Yeah. yeah. And no, the eye definitely feels like it is uh, way too big for the size of the creature. Yes. Uh, they The bodies do seem kind of thick. I think that was to help um, accommodate the eyeball. Yeah. But I suppose the eye could be more like a fish eye, because a lot of fish eyes are, are, are kind of flatter, aren't they? They're not, they're not the total... Sphere that mammal eyes are, but yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I just I've yeah. always kind of had that in, that impression. No, I just was looking at it going, dang, that looks creepy. Anyway, right, it is creepy. Yeah, it's and the concept to. is creepy. Yeah, <laughs> one of us. One of us. One. Yeah, not something um, so you can get back two, from. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23. 23 stars. All righty. All right, I'm going to go spray these. I'll be right back. I'm going to okay. use the restickable kind. Nice. Because okay. obviously it sticks. Obviously it stuck well to, to a Jersey Knit t-shirt. I also did not let it dry, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's, it's all right. I'm sure it'll live. You want to come too, Toby? All right. I'm almost to the end. But yeah, I've noticed that on more than one occasion that you know, you want to make a prop for a movie that's coming up. You want to make something for, you want to be timely because you want your video to come out when, when the movie does, when something comes out. But it's often that people don't want to share what their stuff is because they're trying to have a bit of a surprise for the film. They want the audience to enjoy the movie and be surprised by what pops up. So when you're trying to build something beforehand, you can't find any information on it. <laughs> it's, it's the way it goes. And so then you put out your stuff, and you're wrong. And then, um, well, you get a lot of good interaction from 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 the comments of the video, where, where people are uh, letting you know that you're wrong forever. It's okay. Something like that is 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 uh, a lot easier, and and, and see, is so easy the right word? So much easier, a lot nicer than you know when you completely mispronounce the important name of something and then and then that's that's on the internet forever and yeah just saying <laughs> yeah just saying <laughs> charles marx uh max custom says hello master odin from brazil hello charles Hola. that said jorts was done dirty uh, i missed something that said no i don't know what happened to jorts Uh, Cake is asking me to make the super shotgun from Doom Eternal. I did make the super shotgun from Doom Eternal last year, I think. It's about a year ago. It's sitting up there. It's got the it's got the the chain grabber on it too. 
Um, okay. Radical Jerry wants me to scroll up to his previous one. Um, Radical Jerry, I was was referring to something. Okay. Oh, okay, I gotta go way up there. Radical Jerry is clarifying by saying he's referring to Bionic Commando, not the, the, the crappy movie that I remember, but to the video game franchise. So, oh, okay. Is the, there's a protagonist in the, in the... I missed a spot. I got all of them, but I missed this edge right here. Oh, okay. Let me go get this part right here. I'm just gonna so, step outside and not actually out outside. That's... Shh, don't tell. Okay. Outside of the room, not actually out, 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 out. Uh, oh, okay. We're behaving and acting appropriately. Um, you're very welcome, Charles. Appreciate you watching the videos. Um, Will Wilkins is saying hi to the jack of all trades. Um, I lost the dogs. <laughs> Will Wilkins says toys are always the, one of the best pre-release options. Yes, they are. I didn't see any for Suicide Squad. There were still Starro spawns that came out for San Diego Comic Con that were. Um, just the little ones that would fit over your action figures, but they were still based off the comic books. Bruno! Jeez, I lost one. We had two dogs. Now we have one. Yeah, we have one. Oh, Bruno. Uh, oh, okay. This is why we can't have like, nice streams. This, this is why we can't have nice streams because of dogs. <laughs> it's my fault. I could leave them at home, but they get so excited. They know what today is. Yeah, they know what today is. So we should do a little wash on this. Okay. Um, that looks good. Looks covered. It's covered. It's gold. It's covered. It's gold. Um, those are sticky, ready to be stuck. Yep. And then wash stuff. We need to wash stuff. Well, we can use... Uh, he said brown. There is a brown um, shoe polish up there. Do you want to grab it? Yes. You know where it is. <laughs> I was just playing I Spy. Normally I can go, I want that one. Oh, there it is. That's where I pointed. <laughs> but it was in the back. I was the looking in the front. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna we pop have it open, brushes. Which means it's, it's now in danger of being spilt, just like the water I spilled earlier. Let's see. I've spilled the last few things on the live stream. It's your turn. <laughs> Apparently it is. Okay, just come here. Apparently yeah, I can't just, just grab one. This over here. See, I'm not, I'm not excited by this because it's. If I just cover the if I cover the whole thing, it's just going to wash the whole thing brown, and the W will be a different gold from all the other golds. Yeah, right? but if we just get it in the cracks, I can try. There's not a lot. Of, <laughs> the cracks aren't very big. Well, that's the only part we need to emphasize. So it is. We can. I don't know. Let's see how this turns out live in front of the internet. Oh sure. I'm the. Uh, Oh, apparently we are... Trade sides. need to trade sides. I am not... Uh, That's okay. I will read what for, people are saying. For my situ... Where I am situated... Oh, come on. The paint brush falls and I can't set it down. And I'm going to get brown in the stars. And Oh, yeah. This one? Hi. I just hit the microphone. There we go. Okay. So Will Wilkins wants to know, Odin, given any thought to making the new Captain America shield? The I'm not aware of there being a new Captain America shield. The one from uh, Falcon of the Winter Soldier? People have asked. I could certainly, uh, certainly do one of those. I know. Yours has kind of seen um, better days. <laughs> Mine has definitely seen better days. Mine is definitely um, yeah, the, the end game of uh, Captain America shields. Yes. Oh, the Calvin. Ow, my ears. Sorry. Right, sorry. I totally whacked. Totally whacked the microphone. That was not, not cool and not intentional at all. <laughs> Here. Thank you. Drip. Thank you. Yes. Oh, well, this is drying nicely. I'm going to dry. It, let it dry on a curve, though. Oh, that's. Better than... A great plan. Like this. There I go. That looks good. 
looks great. This so, wash isn't going to happen. <laughs> what? <laughs> the wash isn't working? I'll okay. keep going because I started it, but it's, it's not. Do we need a black paint? Yeah, I think we need a black paint. I actually have to draw a black line as much as other people say, no, it's... It's not gonna. It's not gonna read. You're not gonna be able to see it. I it's... don't mind a black line. I just was curious. Do you want a black acrylic or did you want a black oh, um, shoe polish? I don't have a black shoe polish. I haven't picked one up. Do you so... want me to add water to the black paint, like do a little runny? Um, maybe not. Yeah. Let me get you paint. I know, we just stashed little cups on. Right. I'm going to put the cap back on this before it's all over the table. That is gray and not black. <laughs> That's wrought iron, yeah. That's oh, wrong color. <laughs> um, <sighs> 50 shades of black. 50 shades of black. Nothing to Give it says it's not a real product. It's a thing art in the way. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
weaponizing weapons. I don't know. Um, the Calvin wants to know, is the black paint actually black paint? The black paint is actually black paint. It is. The black paint is, yeah, it is a uh, Liquitex um, artist's black uh, acrylic paint. Right so this is, they yeah, can read it. this isn't even craft paint. This is, this is heavy body, Mars black. Yeah. Strick Aphid says, I'm here. Well, welcome. Strick oh, awesome, Strick Aphid. You're, you're still in time. Joe has not got the suit on yet, but Joe is going to be wearing the suit today. Yes. Just as soon as we can get our stuff done. And then Cake says, hello from Mexico. Hola. Oh, hola. Como, como estas? Um, and Detlef P says, guten tight, Odin. <laughs> guten tight, Detlef. And Darren Calvin, hello. Oh, hello, oh, hello Darren. And Garrett Wittenberg says 91% alcohol works to remove stuff, PLU. So, yes, totally does. Depends yeah. on what you're trying, chemical process you're trying to right. work with. There's things, yeah. No, alcohol does a lot for removing stuff, definitely. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that rubbing alcohol will remove hot glue. That was the weirdest mind-blowing thing for me when I found that out. Hand sanitizer, don't use it on your hot glue. That's no. for sure. But that stuff has saved me so many times. Yeah. It really, like you just let it sit on ink and it comes, like it pulls it up. You can't just put it on and rub it in. You have to like let it sit on the ink and then it just pulls it. Okay. It, yeah. But hand sanitizer. What hand sanitizer. Favorites? Yeah. Gelled alcohol. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew Sheffield says, God bless you, LOL. A little extra green just means patina. Ha, 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 Yep. Um, and someone just bought Mighty Odin Makes Blade shirt. I love it. Nice. Um, Another one, or is this the same person? It's just... Oh, it's popping up in the... Oh, wow. It's announcing that it's been purchased. Oh, that's awesome. Um, oh, Big Bob Props says, Punish Pops has... Done Hawkeye's bow. That's really good to know. So check that out. That is good to know. Definitely check out Punish Props. Yeah, no, Bill's, Bill and Britain definitely have a great channel with a lot of fantastic content. Yeah, Darren Calvin is saying that's some mighty fancy fine lining you're doing. So I'm trying. You're doing this live in front of everybody. Doing, yes, I am live in front of everybody. <laughs> Don't now, breathe. Well, that's why I'm not talking when I actually start doing it because, you know. Yes. Um,. So Steve Ellis says, hi Odin, how's it going? Oh, hello Steve Ellis. Mr. Rooster says, I might as well say hello from Memphis. Well, hello Mr. Well, Rooster. Mr. Ms. Rooster. Mr. Rooster. Rooster. I can yes. talk. I really can, I promise. Um, Jack269 says, hello, what's happening today? Today we are doing the final touches on the Wonder Woman accessories. And in just a little bit, we're going to get the costume put on Joe. <laughs> yes. Um... Okay, Janice Oozer has a really good question. Oh, good. So, um, hi Felicia and Odin. Hey Felicia, have you found a way to share the endo, Endor poncho pattern yet? Ah, so, that's a great question. I called Odin earlier this week and just let him know. Honestly, there is no way that I am going to be editing, being able to edit my video that I wanted to have out this, this month. It's just, life has, you know, kind of come and hit me like a semi-truck. Yep. And things happened, but I had sat down with Odin and we had scanned the poncho pattern that I had made into the computer. So it's now finally mm -hmm. on the computer and ready to go. So at the end of this live stream, since I will not be releasing my video this week, and I am sorry, I will be releasing the poncho pattern for the Endor video Yep. today. So that will be in the video link description. Mm -hmm. He's going to help me do that <laughs> technically. So, but that will be happening today. You can have the poncho pattern that yes. I made. And I want to see you guys use it. It's right. And, and, you know, apologies for how long it took to get the, to get that to happen. Yeah. No, I'm it's new not... at this. This is, this is one of my hobbies. It's, I have a full time job and a lot of other things going on, but this is fun. And I wanted to share it with you. So now I finally can, you guys might not be getting the dress form video, but you guys can have the poncho pattern. Yeah. I hope that helps. So. Yes. 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 After the stream. 
Yeah. And Oops. Mr. Ray says, no pressure, Odin, but everyone's watching you. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's fine. And... Um... Doo -doo -doo. Trying to figure out where I was and where I'm going. <laughs> Oh, people were just trying to help and let me know. No pressure. We're all watching you, you know. Yeah. Kara Skywalker says, so excited for the pattern. Yes. Yes, yes. It was a really, not an easy build, but it's an easy build. I feel like that pattern was really hard to figure out. Like, I was, like, getting a lot of weird things, like, stuck in my head. It needs to have this piece. It needs to have that piece. It needs to lay this way. And right. when I figured out the, the, the hood... It just came together really nicely, so I'm excited that you guys can have that pattern now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, tox toxinic. Toxinic. Toxinic says, "Can you do polka dot man gauntlets from Suicide Squad?" Polka dot man gauntlets are very cool, and um, I was glad to see some. Uh, I was watching some behind the scenes videos that were posted recently that included him using the gauntlets before the the effects were added where they still had the little louvers that opened up and then there was uh, LEDs underneath it so he had all the interactive light of it glowing and doing its thing. Just polka dots weren't flying out because those were... Anyway, I was looking at that. that that's, a, that's a pretty complicated thing to, in order to make it actually open. If it's just static, that wouldn't be hard, but you know... <laughs> they want open, right? Yes. Yes. At the moment, I don't have any other suicide builds planned for the next few weeks, but I'm not going to say no, that Suicide Squad will never come back because I really like that movie. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. Sean Card wants to know, how bad does that drop cloth fray when it's cut? Not too badly. Not too badly, no. Actually, it, it does pretty good. a piece of it. Hmm. You can definitely pull threads, right? But it's not like unravelly. Reach over and just do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but like, it doesn't really unravel. You kind of have to pick at it to make it unravel. But it is a pretty solid cotton knit, not knit, woven cotton. Woven cotton. Yeah. yeah. Work with knits all the time, but no, this is not a knit. This is a woven. It does have its little frays, and you they do, but it's not like. A sheddy, you know, where you right. really have a, to. It's not a really bad shedding. Yes. Right. I, I hear you. Uh, that W is coming along really good, according to Mikola James. Thank you, Mikola James. I hope I didn't ruin, ruin so. your name. Uh, <laughs> the Calvin wants to know what type of poncho, Felicia? What type of poncho? It's the Rebel Endor poncho. And here it comes. She's, she's pulling one together right now. Right, right now. But uh, this was actually a project that started with a uh, cooperation. Uh, uh, wow, the word's escaping me. It's when two channels work together. Ended up being three channels working together. But... Rebel Base Builds, James uh, from the Rebel Base Builds helped us out with getting some of the nernies and, and greebles done uh, that are on the ears and the entire back of the head, the, the vent structure, the back of the head is all 3D printed and 3D models that James created. But we made the helmet and then um, Felicia got super excited and inspired to finish making the poncho because we had the helmet. So. Because... Yeah, it's just a rectangle, right? Yeah, it's just a rectangle. It'll be easy. <laughs> yes. But I made a poncho. You have a poncho. I have a poncho. I have a hat, and you have a hat. And I have a hat. <laughs> I can't hear myself talk, but I can no. hear myself think. Right. Very yes. loudly. Like, it's like an echo chamber inside. Oh, I didn't think about that. These are probably really great con costumes, because you'll knock all the con uh, noise out. <laughs> yes. Well... It's really quiet in there. Like, I can't hear what's happening outside, but it's right. really loud. <laughs> yes, it's really loud inside the... Inside. It's very much an in-your-head helmet. Uh, if you actually look at closely at any production photos of Return of the Jedi, the helmets, the, the base helmet was a World War II surplus. And what they did, 
the um, the earpieces were actually rubber, and they would have the headphones that would fit inside of that helmet in order to hold it to the pilot's heads. Um, so they just stuffed black foam. It's the same kind of sponge foam at the bottom of like coffee dispensers. It's a very porous black foam. Um, they would stuff that in to, to fill it out and make it look black, and then the actors could hear just fine through the foam. We'll fit here better. Yeah, we don't hear so well. <laughs> right. So that's the poncho, and now I have the pattern. Yep, and we have a pattern, and that will be getting put together immediately after the stream. So, let's see, we've got glue drying here, glue or, or black drying, which it'll be dry pretty quick because it's nice and warm. we got a belt doing its thing. It's Are we getting close to putting stars on the blue? Well, I figured we could get him in the costume and then stick the stars on. Well, that, actually, stickers. that actually sounds like a smart idea. Um, so that it'll be pre-stretched out. Be pre-stretched out. Yeah, plus I'm sure people would be super thrilled to watch us poke stars onto Joe's butt. <laughs> poke! <laughs> so I think we're almost there. I Just think so. kind of got to let a little things dry. A little bit. Not a whole lot. I can, I can turn on the hairdryer. We can listen to hairdryer with the microphone. We could text Joe to start coming down here to get right. ready. Is that a hair that got painted in? Probably. Yeah, that's a my hair. <laughs> or, a, or a brush I'm hair. I'm shedding. Or, yeah, it actually might be a brush hair. Uh, okay. my phone so I can text Joe. Andrew Sheffield, how's everything? How everything is okay? Felicia, hope that Mack truck didn't leave scars. <laughs> <laughs> it's called life. Right. Life drives a Mack truck. And yeah. it has a tendency to come at you from blind corners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Life gets crazy every once in a while. And it is what it is. Uh, so Janice Oozer says, if you wanted to dye the poncho fabric, what type of dye would you use? Well, it's a cotton. It's 100% gray cotton, meaning there is no, it hasn't been bleached and it hasn't been dyed or anything. So right. it will dye very well. It'll also wash out very well because cotton will cotton, fade. Cotton fades, right. Cotton fades, but it does dye well. Yeah. So those cheap dyes, those writ dyes, you can get at Walmart or Rite Aid. Mm -hmm. Use those. Go for it. Um, I do. If you wanted to, you can do those in a thing. I painted over the top. Right. Yeah. For, for these, it was just watered down craft paint. It was a drop painter's drop cloth that I just threw paint Dude, on. Paint's on, yeah. <laughs> but yes, you can dye them if you wanted it to be because cotton, that drop cloth that I used is just a um, undyed cotton. <laughs> right. Un yeah. Unprocessed cotton. Joe says, okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and... Gr Gerson says, now I have to scale down that helmet so it fits my vintage Leia figuring. Didn't uh, yeah. his face talk about that? Yes, he did. Part part of James's uh, video was finding the vintage Leia on, on eBay and getting one for his, uh, for his action figure. Yeah. Hey, have you ever thought about making a Michael Myers mask? Jack269 six, <laughs> wants to know. Uh, I have thought about making a Michael Myers mask. And what it comes down to is um, they are, even in the movie, it is a pullover Halloween mask. And getting a pullover Michael Myers Halloween mask for an inexpensive amount and then painting it up to make it look better is going to be cheaper, easier, and faster than making one from scratch. So, yes, we thought about it, but it's one of those that's like, that one's a hard one for me to get into doing because that's just too easy to not just get one. <laughs> so, If that makes sense, which may sound really weird coming from me, but it just ha happens to be that it is a pullover latex mask that has to look a certain way, and yeah. <laughs> okay. I needed to help separate the uh, the epoxy from the two halves of the beret, hair clip, whatever it is. So, okay. Joe is here and being handed some of the parts. You don't need this. Okay. You can have this though. It's not necessary, but it might help. And it is starting. Joe has <laughs> entered into his private chambers to admire his uh, <laughs> godly costume. Well, <laughs> Demi thanks costume. to viewers like you guys who yes. have sponsored <laughs> who have sponsored this costume. Yes, this costume, this stream. This stream, yeah. Yeah, totally. So now we have what it, you guys asked for. 
It is happening. It is happening. Uh, yeah. I got a little bit of gold off of something. I touched something, but that's all right. I think. It's like, where is it still? Right. Where is it still being a little bit wet from? It's fine. As long as it doesn't get a big streak of so gold. So the blue goes over the red, right? Yes. Okay. Put on the red first. Yeah. And then pull the blue okay. Pull the blue up. You can do that on camera if you want. No. <laughs> <laughs> Strick Aphid says, good luck, Joe. <laughs> Groot, Gers Groot Gerson says, while well, speaking of masks and helmets, any plans of making Teenage Mutant Shredder helmet or costume? Teenage Mutant, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Shredder? <laughs> uh, it's come up a few times, and I think it probably does need to happen. Um, right now, there are no plans, and while it's on, I think it's on the list... It is something that I've kind of forgotten about a few times, so... So it's on the eventually list. Right. But but yeah. no, it comes up, and that was definitely one that would be fun Shredder to do. Shredder is a great, scary yeah. villain. And I also do love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In high school, I took one of those little kid Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costumes where it had the little foam shell and the um, printed fabric with the thing. Right. And I took that, and I cut it apart, and I sewed it to a really nice sweatshirt. Okay. A zipped up hoodie so that it had the tummy part on the front all stitched down. And then I had the back turtle shell attached and rigged to be a backpack. Okay. And I loved that thing. I oh. was a dorky kid in high school. But whatever. I'm still a dorky kid at Weren't art. Weren't we all? <laughs> right? But right. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've done them a few times. Done them for myself and done them for the costume right. shop. They had good ones. Oh, did they? They had the foam heads. Uh-huh. They had the shapes. With the masks, and okay. then they had the foam shells until they got stolen. <laughs> well, you oh. know, costume rental, and then they just they rent out, and they, they don't make it they back, back, and right. then they get charged the deposit, so technically it's not stolen, but... Right, but it's, yeah. Sometimes you just have to let things go. Well, maybe the yeah. deposit was less than actually buying them. No, it definitely was. It oh, totally okay. was. <laughs> yes. Master Race says, yes, it's happening! Or is it Mr. Race? Um, yes. I think it's Mr. Race, like uh, like yes. race car, Mr. Race. Yeah. Um, haha, and, Joe's and yes, this me. is the belt on my head. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I don't know. I was just reading. Oh, Dead good. Left P says eventually. E eventually. Felicia no, says. Shredder's definitely a, a great look. So yeah, um, I think I've got the next three videos planned. I think. Four. The next four videos are planned. So. There are so many props to do. Right. And at this point, I'm having to work around the upcoming cons. Because I'm not going to have all the time I'm accustomed to having to get the videos done. So it's going to be... Like, we've got one almost done that will come out a little later during while, while we're at cons because... There's travel days and the days that the cons actually happen. Even though they're all kind of local-ish for us, it's still, if you're driving three hours to get somewhere, that's, it's more than just a three-hour trip. You're loading the car, you're unloading the car, you're, you're dealing with it. It's, it's a half-a-day process that you're not using to build. It's a lot of work on your yeah. day off. It is. It's fun. It's worth it. I love hanging out with you guys, but um, yeah. It's not relaxing, but it's it is It's not relaxing. <laughs> yes. Um, Janice Usser says at Odin Makes, Hey Odin, Spirit of Halloween is starting to open up for the season. Can oh. you take a prop from there and show how to upgrade it to cosplay perfection as a new type of video segment you do? Oh, okay. You did that last year for... We did that for uh, the Fallout Spirit costume. Spirit. No, but for Party City. Party City. How yeah. did you do that? And we, we upgraded Yeah, we upgraded a... Uh, we made a Fallout suit. We bought the Fallout Boy costume. Which was a very simple Fallout suit, and we we seriously upgraded the actual uh, fabric costume to to look more like a vault suit. Uh, Joe repainted the Pit Boy that was just purchased off the shelf, and then I redid a uh, rocker pilled sledgehammer. And I think it, it looked really great. It did. It looked I really do good. like starting with something. Yeah. <laughs> and then upgrading it. So, hey, if they so want to pay to do that again, that'd be awesome. Oh, I'd love that if, if, if Party City paid again. But but the idea of grabbing something from Spirit isn't a bad idea. No, definitely not. Because upgrading costumes is always 
as always. So I'm digging for a picture. I can bring a picture up really quick for you guys. That's what I'm squinting at, at the picture, at the computer over here. Uh, is it not like right here? It's in a bag. It's in a bag. Yeah, so There's I'll just- a boy. I'll just go grab the picture of Joe in the, uh, in the suit, because this will look a lot better. Yeah. But I also think it's like really impressive to take just the plastic that oh, we already have. Yeah. I'll let you do, uh, well, you, well, that's like way too close, isn't it? But still, there you go. There you go. So this is the off the shelf party city pit boy that Joe repainted, like completely repainted and made new decals for. Yes. See these like little tiny next to the red dots, how there is like ever so slightly, you can't even see it, but there's little yellow words. He took the effort to really try and make those little yellow words be there. Right. And visible. And visible. And so once the costume was all put together, this is how Joe looked in the costume outside. So here's a two for one. You get Joe in another costume in the same stream. Although this is a, a file photo, but still. <laughs> And right on cue, <laughs> first, first, Felicia says, do you think he's doing okay in there? And I'm, I'm almost done. I'm coming out soon. <laughs> I just have to do the lacing on the back? Yeah, oh, yeah. Kind of... Do you want to kick that over here? Kick what? Oh, sure. You can have that back. There you go. Yes. Oh, yeah, we got more duct tape coffee being shared from Strict AFID on the Discord. Oh, that's diet duct tape coffee. Oh, this is diet duct tape coffee? Oh, I see. Yes. Got my duct tape coffee, but something's not right because it's a lid of duct tape. It's it's the travel cup version. It's diet coffee. Yeah. If you can't drink it, it does no good. It does no good. Um, yes, can't wait for... Sean Karg is agreeing with Janice Uzer. Can't wait for the spirit stores to open. Um, and... Yeah, the banners are starting to go up. Yes, they are. It's Sean Karg. Uh, Ralph Morick says, I have the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy edition. That's very cool. I've got the uh, Fallout 76 Pip-Boy kit that I was excited to build, and then all the negative backlash happened to the to the game. So I never brought it out to build it as a video because I didn't want to get a hit with any of that, that nasty. <laughs> I think it would be a big deal now, but I still have an unopened um, Fallout 76 Pip-Boy kit, and I have one kit of one of the uh, holotapes. I think they're hollow tapes, right? But they're, they're the tapes. Hollow tape is a Star Trek thing, so I may have, might have that, that name wrong. Okay. Heard the dogs chewing on something. They got oh, a piece of right. Velcro, but. Flame Dragon Man is, is saying, hey, Odin, will you make any more Power Rangers cosplay or props? You got to. We got a great intro. We got a great intro. We got to. Felicia and I have talked about it. We want to make more, but. Life drives a Mack truck and comes at you from blind corners, and it does. so um, that's on hold for the moment. But yes, I think we're gonna we're gonna team up and and get a Power Rangers put together. Yeah. Yep. So eventually, working <laughs> which is, on it, which is not fair. The plan was to do one this month, but it just it's it's it's. I don't even have my video up. Yeah. Like. <laughs> it, yeah. Adulting. 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 Logan Dark Horse says, hello, you two, and yes, I didn't miss this. You did not. Joe is currently squeezing into the blue shorts as we talk, <laughs> as we speak. And Joe I might need a little bit of help yeah. getting the top coming up. <laughs> but. Oh, sorry, I bonked the camera. Ah! Uh, <laughs> hey, you bonked it pretty good, actually. Is that better? I'll, 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 I'll step over. Let's see. No, I won't. Hollow tape. Like those old sound discs, Gru Gru Grusen, uh, Groot Grusen, Grusen. He's told me how to pronounce his name, and when he told me, I said it right the first time, but I haven't since, and I'm, I'm really we're sorry, Groot. Um, no, I can't remember what they were called. There, there, there's the little tapes that go into the top of the Pit Boy, and I can't remember exactly what those are called. If they're, I say hollow tapes, but that's just old school Star Trek, I think. Even that, they weren't tapes. They were just hollow tapes. They were just tapes. So, I'm really not sure. Steve Ellis, I have not got the printing done. I'm sorry, Steve. You've asked, and, and right. the, the crown has not happened yet. But I do need to re relinquish this crown 
to fit around someone else's waist. So apparently, we're going to go ahead and get the full costume put on and then do the reveal. Almost. We'll, we'll be sticking the stars on live in front of you. But um, we'll get the rest of the pieces put on first. <laughs> so it is happening. I can see a, uh, a Wonder Joe Man getting put together behind the camera right now. And uh, Switch is asking if I could make Blood Sports Helmet from the Suicide Squad. There are so many awesome things from the Suicide Squad. I could spend the rest of the year just making Suicide Squad stuff. Um, Blood Sport. The only trick with Blood Sport that I really haven't... I don't have a vacuum form machine. So the only thing I really haven't figured out is how to make his perfect dome visor top of his head also be transparent so you can see out of it. You can vacuum form it and you could dye it easily enough. It would have to be like two pieces. It would have to kind of clamshell together because you couldn't quite vacuum form the one shape. Um, and I think that's a great idea. I don't have the equipment to do it. So it's not something I can just go, oh yeah, I'm going to do that next week. Because it'll take a couple of weeks to build the equipment so I can do it next week. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. see and going back to something we joked about in the very beginning i think for the belt we're going to be using a uh, measuring tape not belt lasso excuse me the lasso the lasso of truth is going to be a fabric measuring tape <laughs> because why not because that makes total sense what does it makes now, sense was that supposed to go over or no what what's on the mannequin oh that is just a different option for it Bodice. I just want to okay. like the one that would be more your shape. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. A little more easy, breezy, beautiful. Uh, Wonder Joe, Bernie Davis. Yes, Wonder Joe is getting put together right now. Um, I need one more of these. I, oh, I have it. Yeah, <laughs> they got picked up, didn't they? I didn't. Yeah, that uh, was me. I'm going to make a prop from the Tales of Arcadia series. I'll need to see the Tales of Arcadia series. I haven't seen it yet. I definitely need to make some more uh, anime props for sure. Really so good it hasn't. On you, Joe. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Please laughing. This looks really good on you, Joe. Well, in just a minute, Joe, you'll be on screen captures everywhere. You you will become a permanent meme on the Odin Makes Discord. <laughs> Hold up for a second and give you a lasso of truth. Do you want uh, Do you want one of the straps to? Oh no, you got it taken care of. She's gonna wrap it around the belt. Oh, hey, Nora just finished sanding on, on her Mando helmet and shared nice. a picture on the Discord. Okay. And then we can put the stars <laughs> on you on camera. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Alrighty. Let me go readjust the camera a little bit. Because... Because we need to do a big reveal, but I feel like we need a little bit more of an Apple box to stand on, honestly. Yeah. Let me get you an apple box that's a little bigger than this one, Joe. All right, all right. And now nobody's on screen. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Toby Makes. Today we're going to make naps. To Hi, I'm Toby, and I like to make naps. I'm really good at lying down and being calm and... <laughs> I thought you can get an apple box. You got a step stool. I, well, I guess you do need a step stool to... I was just uh, trying to be quick, and that was... Seemed well, like a good idea. To, that'll to that'll show off that'll definitely the get them get them up there. Yeah. So, Alrighty. So. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. You guys participated and and had fun. Super huge thanks again to Maker JP and Sean Card coming into the last minute with what we needed to push us to our goal, and what we have is is it Wonder Joe Man? Is it uh, Wonder? It is Wonder Joe. It is Wonder Joe. Because <laughs> <laughs> now we can add stickers. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, so. You have to add the stars. Oops. <laughs> I'm not anymore. We waited too long. But these we waited are too long? To, this stuff, the thing about this stuff is, is it's supposed to stick and then unstick. And it's not. Oh, is it just not? Uh... It's not sticking. Well, no, it's not, not at all. And I'm not. No, you don't get to eat that. What about the one that I oversprayed? Well, let's just go spray them again really quick. All right, I'll go spray them. All right. While you all guys right. entertain. While, while you just. Gaze upon me. Gaze upon mind. the glory that is glory. Wonder Joe. Yeah. And Ralph Mark says, okay, now dance. <laughs> How about you do a little spin? I will do a little spin. With the Wonder Woman spin. With the Wonder Woman theme. Wonder Woman. <laughs> People can see that they ascended the belt. 
Right, yeah, because it yeah. doesn't necessarily fit around my waist. The belt so. didn't? Yeah. Oh, I see. oh yeah. we did extend so, that belt quite a bit. Yeah, you, you extended it a All little right. bit. So. Well, that, that fit around Felicia's waist and fits around my head. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a little bit in between. A little bit in between. Well, yeah. we did have to pad uh, Felicia's body form when we were doing the okay doing the uh, Dragon Ball Z armor, so that uh, makes sense. Right, 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 right. Okay. I really want to say thank you very much for being a, a huge sport and oh, and, you're welcome. Yeah, well. and putting on uh, <laughs> hey. putting on a skimpy superhero costume that members of Smosh wouldn't wear. <laughs> I think it turned out great, and I feel like these yeah. accessories would go with any Wonder Woman. Yeah. Oh, tattoo. Yeah. So that tattoo, I actually designed myself. Right. You can show yeah. me the tattoo yeah. again if you want. <laughs> the cuff so, makes yeah. me laugh. Ralph says, nice tattoo. Um, right. Uh, Chug says, put the wig on. The wig got forgotten. I thought the wig might get forgotten. I didn't realize that we were doing this this week, so we did not <laughs> bring it. Sorry, people. Sorry, Here, guys. you can put a star on. Ooh. Where, where does it go? Center front. Center Point front. Up. So like that? Yep, there you go. Just like that? Yeah, this wig isn't going to work. The only wig I got is... Uh... The first star! <laughs> Woohoo! Well, yep. Now let's see. Let's go here. <laughs> that doesn't fit at all. <laughs> I, I, little, I literally broke a nail trying to put it on. That's great. Oh, I'm not even on camera. That's great. You guys can't see me. Odin, do you want to help me sticker Joe? I'd be happy to help sticker Joe. Let's stick Joe. I uh, want it to on. be evenly spaced. Right. There we go. Uh, Stickers. I think that's a... What's up? They're repositionable, that's that's, so we can oh, okay. scoot it over if you wanted to. Is that better? Is that's the box good. blocking Joe? Well, a little bit. But. Help with the stickers. Oh yeah, stickers! Stickers! <laughs> There you go, Joe. You get a star for I'm, being a I'm the a star. Fan, such a fantastic <laughs> participant. <laughs> and you do this one more right here. I hope the two hundred bucks was worth it, Odin. <laughs> this looks we really just, it pops on camera. Hey Odin, we just have needed you, a uh, have you ever considered goal. cosplaying John Favreau? Kara. <laughs> Kara. Oh, yeah. hey! Of all people to ask! <laughs> right, yeah. Um, I have considered it. Um, and what, what, let's see. I'm putting it on the right way. Yeah, that's that's the right way. It certainly seems like right. no, someone got locked out. That's oh, all right. Oh, yeah. I left. They followed me out. And yeah, then... they followed you oh, out. Oh, is that a um, sad puppers? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> It doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I have considered it, and I, um, and of all people to ask. Space. There you go. Yeah, I'm just getting caught with the. Trying to do it balanced so yeah. both sides come together. Well, I might have I'm just, I'm just closer, posing so. while you guys stick stars on my butt. There you are. Well, at least we're not sticking dollars in your butt. Well, that was you know, that right. would actually be kind of nice if I had some dollars. It would be kind of nice if you yeah. had some dollars. Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice. Well, they did give you dollars. They're just they digital did. dollars. Right. They don't fit in your underwear quite the same, though. Right. Yeah. Is that going to go? All right. So then just here? Yeah, go in the spaces now. Go in the spaces. So how? Further down. Yeah, there. That was the, to the top is a tad low cut. It's true. So. The tad? Yeah, the top is a yeah. tad low cut. Yeah. So the, the top is actually... Um, Probably going to be that one for you, right, Felicia? Both work. I mean, they both did? Okay. Yeah, this one I just fit. feel like it would fit you better. Okay, yeah. So, yes. we tried. You know. <laughs> I, know you're, I, know you're, I know you're expecting, like, something, like, perfect, but uh, <laughs> here, let's, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Nora is taking many screenshots. Oh, I'm sure there are many screenshots oh, yeah. happening. Now that you did one little spin uh, in the suit here, we probably right. need you to come out and do a do a quick little spin uh, in in street clothes, so that gift can get made. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some of these stars would not be long for the world because they're right in you know a high moving area. Yeah. 
and they're already not sticking. <laughs> it needs that fresh tackiness of, I yeah. guess. Yeah, right. This is not contact cement, that's for sure. No, I, this is not I contact. I I've used this and it's worked like resticking like multiple times. Mm. It, right. This is drying on the foam though, it's not being resticky. Maybe it's the foam that's the problem. That's what I was wondering. Maybe, yeah. Because the fabric it has the fibers to hold onto everything where it feels right. like a... It sticks real well to the blue tape. Right? <laughs> um, Kara Skywalker did a $2 super chat. Oh. It says, for Joe's belt. For Joe's butt. <laughs> belt. Oh, belt. Not his butt. Not his belt. Okay. Are, we, are we giving Odin money for me to take to garments put into the belt. off? Or... <laughs> <laughs> and our it, channel shut that, down. Is it that kind of a channel? <laughs> I think it's turning into that today. <laughs> uh, I need to start. Are you guys not entertained? Are you not entertained? I'm sure they're. Oh, I got, I got five dollars. No, you got five dollars. Oh, we, whatever we. Yeah, no, you did for Odin's uh, future John Favreau cosplay. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Dar Darren. <laughs> Right on. Nice. I'm getting a lot on this side. Oh, okay. <laughs> he needs to get over here, too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I can move. I can move. Here, I'll just... Uh... Oh, no, I had... <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's... It'll last the stream. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, that's and, all it needs to. And we're going to run out of stars. Yeah. So... There you go. How many have we got left? We've got uh, five. Five? Okay. So Today on Odin Fans, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Here, I'll trade the Felicia really quick so I get this side. And I will see what people are saying. Um, Logan Dark Horse, Felicia, when are you wearing this to Akon? You are right, just asking. <laughs> I'm, I haven't been to a con yet. I wasn't planning on any in the near future. I know you guys are going to a con. Yeah, we're going to... Silicon. And Silicon, which is yeah. two weeks. I will, then... I will not be wearing this at Silicon. No. <laughs> no. I have other cosplay. You, you can, can if you want. Yeah. Oops. I haven't right. been to a con yet. I've, it sounds like fun. I've dressed lots of people up for Cons that. are very, very fun. Yeah. Sounds like it. It just seems overwhelmingly people-y. And while there would be nothing wrong with me wearing this at Silicon, I just, uh, I have other things to wear. So yeah. I've got... Dale Burr says, Bodice may need a few stitches under the W. That's because we have, it's a low cut. It's super low cut. Yeah. yeah. It's, um... And he doesn't have the bust to fill it out. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, Joe. You know, I just... Yeah. All right. Mm. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Radical Gary says, hey, Joe, what's your revenge plan? <laughs> how are no. we going to get back? <laughs> yeah, how are you going to get back revenge? Yeah. I, you know. You, you're just being a really good sport. I'm just a good sport, yeah. <laughs> so. This is not that embarrassing to me. I, I don't know. It's, right. Yeah. It's not that, right. Whatever. It's a Wonder Woman costume. Yeah. Whatever. Right? You're, you're covered. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder. Is it a woman? Mm, I wonder. I'm still 100% man. I, I. Oh, okay. You, you're you're not feeling yeah. threatened. No, nope, not feeling oh, okay. threatened. No, uh, no toxic masculinity here. I oh, do not. Good. Uh, I do yeah. feel pretty, but I am still very much so. Okay. Yeah. Actually, uh, with with the band and, and your hair, you've got a pretty good uh, uh, like um, Hercules thing going on. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think so too. Yeah. Put the Gladden Gladiator. Yes, put the Gladden Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> got a meme already. We do have a meme. Wonder Joe. It's a Joe. bird. It's a nerd. No, it's Wonder Joe. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Love it. Oh, and Strick Dafid was, oh, the, author was the author of this one. Oh, Strick was the author of this one. All right. Yeah. Yeah, usually uh, Jack of All Trades is all over doing... Uh, yeah. You're slipping. 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 <sighs> what? Cliff Oliveira says, right now the almighty algorithm is going, what? What? <laughs> All hail the algorithm. All hail the algorithm. Ah, uh, yes. And the algorithm. The algorithm probably doesn't really care because there isn't really anything going on here that's what hasn't I... been on other sketch comedy yeah. shows. Nothing to do with the algorithm, but I have a question. Can get, you get sit a little in bit that? closer? Your uh, I'm out. Oh, sorry. Off the screen. There we go. Yeah. Hi, people. All I'm right. Here. So, what's your question? Can you sit without stabbing yourself? Sit. Without stabbing yourself. 
Right, because there's the, the, the rays in the belt here, so... There's I mean, a chair right there. I'm just curious, will, the, can you physically do the action without... Of sit? Of sitting. Because when I was thinking of the belt... Oh, yeah, you yeah. are fine. Yeah. It's no, no, like, like wearing any other yeah. corset, it, it, yeah. it, it, it helps promote proper uh, Yeah, it just, it just makes the wedgie a little bit like more real. Because so. when we were looking at Wonder Woman's belts and tiaras, you yeah. have the top point, you have the bottom point, or right. you have the double point. And part of me was going, if we did the double point belt, would it get stabby? <laughs> like, right. It's so fine. I, I so remember that, not. you know, asking that with, because I had, like I told you, like 20 years ago for Burning yeah. Man, I helped a friend by making the parts from uh, brass. Yeah. But um, she didn't care. It was fine. It didn't even look like it was even uncomfortable when you sat yeah. down. So. so I feel like the, the worst mobility issue is the, uh, the wings. Yeah. Because we're getting yeah. in the way of arms, yeah. And granted, so. we didn't even use the magnets that we put in here. We did not. <laughs> right. It totally would have held them down better, but I yeah. didn't feel necessary, so. especially since these little clips we stuck in there. You know what? Maybe, maybe oh. the uh, if we did the magnets for the top, you, they wouldn't they wouldn't stab me near uh, nearly as much in the arm. Here they are. So here we go. Let's try that. And this one, it fits the magnets. Right. Okay. So, Sean Clark is a five dollar super chat say. Saying great snowboarding job. Oh, oh wait, no, great snow <laughs> snowboarding sport. <laughs> great snowboarding, yes. Thank you for Joe is a great snowboarding sport. Yes. Definitely. And Strick Aphid says memes. Memes. Sorry. Yep, that's all right. Everyone. I'll, I'll murder you guys in Among Us. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Is, there, is there a Wonder Woman costume in Among Us? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah. Is there anything super? There might be a, ma a super mask of some yeah. sort. Um, Sean Kenley Kennedy says Joe is the true manly man right there. <laughs> and Logan Dark Horse says Wonder Wedgie. Wonder Wedgie. That's true. <laughs> and then um, the Calvin says Joe's Wedgie. It's the title. And then Bernie Davis says I prefer the new Fifty Two version of Wonder Woman the best. <laughs> and Stephen Deitch says, sorry, Joe, Felicia's still cuter, LOL. And then Thomas Hughes TV says, what will Odin dress up as next stream? Next stream. <laughs> and Big Man says, what am I watching? <laughs> Dale. S something legendary. Something yes. legendary. And then Dale Burr says, Wonder Woman's new kick, sidekick, Blunder Boy. <laughs> And then Jack Trades is saying, made a meme. Made a meme. Yep, yep. It's, it's right there in the Discord, so. Yep. There's a shortage of Superman costumes for Halloween, so I went as Wonder Joe. That's actually a really good shot of that you. Is a good, that's a good shot. Good job. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I, I'm sorry I doubted you, Nora. You were curating the best meme possible, so I apologize. Yes. And then Logan Dorka, Dark Horse says, I love this channel. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. Thank you, Logan. <laughs> and Thomas Hughes TV says, Time, take screenshots now, everyone. Oh, everyone, take all the screenshots. <laughs> and then Sean Karg says, Legend, wait for it. <laughs> yeah. And Go back next stream, Sean Karg, and finish that one. <laughs> and then Mr. Rooster says, Today, a man was born. <laughs> yep, it's true. So... Um, I'm pretty happy with the Wonder Woman costume we've put together here. Right? <laughs> yeah, this is totally, totally working. Yeah. It What's is... that? Yeah. Good stuff. I, I, I'm glad we did the W. I think the W works out. It mm -hmm. fits multiple sizes and the clips will make sure it fits with any top. Right. I could see that we might need to add, uh, because it is very flat and hitting biceps and that would happen to anyone so either forcing the uh the badge clips in the back forcing them to bend uh or those maybe are adding keeping a little it bit flat of, aren't they keeping it flat yeah mm -hmm. but I, I don't think it'd be a big deal to, to to force those to be bent should be that should be pretty easy to do yeah okay yeah you don't know these things until you try it on yep that's what i had a little bit of a concern it's like this would be right at the arms but no. <laughs> we did it do needs it. to be big because you know when it's just lines on paper for a comic book, it fits, no problem. <laughs> right? What were you trying to say? Oh, I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just letting uh, you guys talk. Oh, okay. So I, I thought Felicia was trying to say. Oh, oh, no, I was just thinking that. I'm like, well, it fit. 
the cups on that one. You know, like it, right. it's the we cut down a flat shape into a curved shape, and then we took that curved shape and we flattened it out for you, Joe. <laughs> right, right. Not that it needed. Not that it really needed it. No, but you've got you got a tiny bit of cuppage going on there. Not a whole lot. A little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just a tad. There's, There's a little, a little bit of padding in there too, so. Sort of works. There's a foam insert Unfortunately, that stops right about here. There's too much material between um, the uh, yeah the magnets. They, yeah. It's just, they're they're not yeah they're good for they're one layer working. of material, yeah. not not up towards. But the clips are holding. Yeah, the clips are fine. Yeah, yeah we yeah. probably didn't even need to bother with the magnets to tell you the honest truth. If we did a clip in the center W and the two yeah. edges, it would have been fine. Magnets. It would have weighed less. Yeah. 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 I wonder if we could. Uh, I'm gonna test something. Okay. Live. Let's Live see. testing. Yep. Jack of all trades says, ha ha, I'm gonna get stabbed in Among Us for this. <laughs> Maybe. Well, you'll get stabbed either way, so. Right. It's... Now, the unfortunate thing is, as the uh, imposter, you don't get the option of how the crew member gets killed. That's just a random animation that happens that for the crew member's benefit. Yeah. So let's try if maybe I can. This is gonna end poorly, I'm, I'm sure. But what are you gonna get? Uh, trying to keep hair out of it? <laughs> no, no. I'm trying to get it so that uh, the center comes together. Oh, okay. So. Right. Which I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna need to be like whip stitched. There's too or... much. Yeah, there's too much material mm -hmm. to overcome. Yeah. You get like oh, one well. layer, maybe two. Yeah, the clips. Yeah. The yeah. clips. Yeah, the clips work. My out original well. plan was clips. Yep. And then you're like, hey, I have these awesome badge magnets. I'm like, yeah, that actually sounds like a good idea. Yeah, seems like it should work if it wasn't, you know, a bunch of seams and cups and. <laughs> but in reality, if you're making this for yourself and you're gonna wear it with the same top every time, why bother? Pretty much, yeah. Velcro would be would be great because that would let you take the foam off so you can wash your top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. There's a lot of ways to make it more permanent. I right. just wanted to make it flexible because she has such great looks. And right. that W can go with so many different ones of them. For sure. You can put this W on, you know, anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, Groot Gerson says, I don't know how to say this in the correct way, but should the bosom help with the W to be further away from your body, making it more room to swing your arms around? Probably. So if you had curves. So if you had curves. If I, if I actually it had. It probably would, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. Yes. Circle math. Circle math. <laughs> John P Parsi says, you guys need a mannequin you can dress up. Joe doesn't have the build for this. <laughs> We, but we chose yeah, we, we, we have a dress form, but the whole the whole you guys paid extra for this, mm -hmm. right? There was, there was jokes last year yeah, about you oh paid, you should do this. You paid for this, right? Yeah. Well, so. some of you did, and we greatly appreciated for those your, of you who did. Your Odin makes tax dollars at work. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> uh, Strick Avid says, Joe, I'm going to try and get my Among Us account working so you can stab me. Oh, that's oh. very nice. I've oh. missed you the past yeah. month. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Logan Dark Horse is laughing at cuppage. 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 Um, yeah. Sean Clark says, if there was a reality show version of Rocky Horror, this would be it. Weren't we just talking about Rocky Horror? Oh, I've talked about Rocky Horror a few times, because, yeah, I've done... I was part of Rocky Horror casts, and so I've done Switch Night. I've, I have done uh, um, Columbia for, for Rocky Horror, so I've, I've worn that costume before. Yeah. Logan Dark Horse, LOL, we paid for this. Uh-huh. <laughs> Give your guys' selves a round of yes, applause. Yes, huge round of applause. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you very much for... Thank, thank you, everyone, for participating with this, for for having having fun and understanding that we're just having fun. And, yes. yeah. <laughs> having fun, making cosplay, that's what it's all about. It's what it's all it's about. It's a costume. And in the spirit of costumes, thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. And then... Big Man says, this is the greatest investment on money that has happened. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to wear this to silicon? No, I don't think I'm going to wear this oh, to silicon. Are you sure? No, what, what if we got like little little uh, cards made up, like baseball cards, and you just autograph those for people at silicon? I could do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, that'd be fine. But I think, uh, <laughs> I think that's probably I don't think we happen. have the time to no. do that. Yeah. That's what, two weeks? Yeah, silicon's just two weeks out. Isn't Gundam going to be making an appearance? 
Gundam, Gundam will be making an appearance yeah. at Silicon. Now you could. It is a red metal. You could wear this uh, in the middle of Gundam instead of you know. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Not a Wonder right. Gundam. <laughs> no. Wonder Gundam. I do. And you know there have been worse crossovers. There have been worse crossovers. So, so Wonder yeah. Gundam would actually probably be pretty neat, but. Um, How about, we could, we could build the Hello Kitty Gundam. We could build the Hello Kitty Gundam, yeah, though. It's a legitimate I mean, Gundam. <laughs> it, it is. Hello Kitty. Uh, I actually need to get one of those model kits for a friend who is a huge okay. Hello Kitty fan. Okay. Yeah. So, I still need to find one. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that can happen. Yeah. But, yes, in two weeks, we will be in San Jose for Silicon. That's going to be yep. the last weekend of this month. So, next weekend... We're, uh, Felicia and I are still going to be here and doing do a live stream. Stitch and bitch. Doing doing a stitch and bitch. Doing doing the uh, we we finished this one and we're going to drink tea and talk to you guys and probably work on some Mecha Godzilla pieces. Open up some fan mail. Open up some fan mail. Right. Uh, someone did send fan mail and I got to the post office, but because of where I work and where I can when I can get to the post office, I got there after the clerks left. So I opened up the PO box and got a slip that says, "Bring this to the counter." That might happen tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So thank so, you. But thank you. So that will happen. That will get open next week. Yep. Next yes. week. But um, overall, the important thing is we're going to go to the Silicon. So the last weekend, there won't be a big live stream like there is today because on that Sunday, I'm going to be in San Jose. And so is Joe. Yep. And then the following week, we are planning on being at SAC Anime. Uh, still actually haven't gotten confirmation on us getting our badges yet, I don't think. Nope. But at the moment, we're still under the impression that we're going to be going there. So there, there probably won't be a live stream the first Sunday in September. And then uh, the second Sunday in September, the second weekend in September, I'm going to have a booth at Stockton Con. So three cons in a row, which means Felicia is going to get three weekends off in a row. Yep. Yeah. You and your husband can, you know, relax. And no, things are crazy. I might catch up. <gasps> yeah, oh, I might no. catch up. Yeah. Life came along with this Mack truck and smacked right oh, into them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, just, you know, all the responsibilities all at once. Full-time job. Well, no time for editing, so I will have time for editing and right. shooting a few things. Yep. So three weeks off, it's going to help me catch up. Yes, which is very cool. Good, good. So. Uh, if, if we can, Joe and I will try to check in with some sort of really quick little live stream from the con, but that depends on cell service and whether or not we realize that we missed noon or not. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, that is that's that is one of the things we really want to try and do, but it's con, so. And you're humans. And we're humans. Yeah. Not robots. Right. Even though we dress up like robots at cons. Right. <laughs> Even though they want to trick people into thinking you're robots. Right. Beep, boop, beep. Beep, boop, beep. Stephen Daichi says, when... Will we be seeing you wearing it, Felicia? Well, maybe next week. We'll see. Maybe. And then John Perry C says, felt. I don't know why, but felt. Felt? Felt. Felt. And then Jack of all <laughs> trades says, all right, new meme. New meme. Oh, yep. Yeah. And then, um. Wonder Joe and Bubble Scorpion will take over the world. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> um. Van Luden says, nothing better than watching you guys on a Sunday night having a good laugh. You oh, guys rock. That's good. Thank you, Van Luden. Sean Karg says, love me some Rocky Horror. Oh, yeah. That was fun. That was, that was Eddie Dr. Scott, of course. <laughs> yeah. And then Connor Cook says, but don't fall in love. She's a beauty. She's one in a million girls. Props to anyone who gets that song reference. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. And then Bagman, what? And then Arfus. So hail, sorry, I completely butchered your name, but they say hello. So you could say that hello. the name just went right down the tubes? Anyway, Arpa, sorry. Yeah. Yes. And then Darren Calvin says, Wonder Joe and Bumble Scorpion will take over the world. You read that one. Right. I did. And then Bernie Davis says, which earth is Wonder Joe from? Uh, that's a good question. I'm trying to remember which, which earth is uh, the, the Justice League we're accustomed to. Which Earth is that usually? That's not six one six, is it? No, that's or, Marvel. That's Marvel. And and it's not and it's not the it's not sixty two. It's not the fifty two. Wow, I'm 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 forgetting. Yeah. Yeah, but Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah. Yeah. You could, it'd be interesting how much DC is gonna gonna go with that while Marvel has their multiverse of madness. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Logan Dark Horse says, thank you, Joe, for filling the crown and not the bust. <laughs> well, well. You do your I best. Could. You do your best. I do my best. Yeah. And then... We can get you some foam. Wonder Gundam with Starro masks. <laughs> Wonder Gundam with Starro masks. We will. We will definitely be walking around. We'll definitely be taking the Starro masks. With the Starro masks, masks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that'll happen. In it's fact, just an easy, low-effort cosplay that uh, um, is comfortable. Yes. <laughs> easy to wear, comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, somebody's asking you, um, can Nimbus Blues or Nim Blues says, Joe, can you do Sailor Moon pose? Oh man. Uh, do you like, remember like, Sailor Moon like, pose? Like this one? Like is is that like? Um, I don't remember the Sailor Moon poses. Oh man. Do you do you need a, an extra accessory to to Sailor Moon? There's a, there's a wand. That she There's uses, okay. where she like goes like this, and then like something like like by the moon I will defeat you or something. I it's been so long. I like, have swords and things. I don't think I have wands. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm. It's been a long time since I've watched Sailor Moon, and I was not an avid Sailor Moon watcher. So yeah. John Parsi says, Linda Carter is freaking out at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Wishing she had this Wonder Woman costume, I bet, because you can actually, like, right. oh. move in it. Yep. Um, Jack of All Trades says, the MCU Earth is 19999. The main Marvel comic universe is Earth 616, and the ultimate universe is Earth 1610. There we go. Yep. There we go. Does that answer your question? Which the Ultimate Universe doesn't exist anymore, right? Didn't it get merged with 616? It's I forget. Parallel. You know, comic books are convoluted. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like they keep making I, up new stories. I think, yeah. Yeah, and um, making creative solutions like um, <laughs> time-traveling bullets so that they can bring characters back to life and... Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hisham Abadu, sorry, killed your name, wants to know, where is the lasso of truth? Oh, the lasso's right here. Right. Because centimeters don't lie. There you go. Yeah. We've got a yellow measuring tape, so that's our lasso. Yeah. That's our lasso, because we like using craft supplies. And yeah. And that was actually Felicia's joke for the very beginning. <laughs> Let's just yeah. use a measuring tape. It's yellow. Yeah. All right. And it does not lie. It does not lie. Gal Gadot is so jelly right now, according to Bernie Davis. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I'll, I'll be, you know, I, I'd i be fine with doing like a uh, costume contest with Gal Gadot and... Uh, um, and and uh, uh, Linda Carter. Yeah, Linda Carter. Oh, let's, yeah. uh, let's make that happen. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I heard uh, What's-His-Face lost... Uh, Jeez, Louise, my brain is like where on What's the same the planet as yours. Oh, yeah. Um, the far away one that's full of Charlie cheese. Chapman. He Charlie. lost a Charlie Chapman lookalike contest. Uh, Charlie Chaplin lost a Charlie Chaplin? Okay. Lookalike contest, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I know uh, Robert Downey Jr. has, has uh, uh, what is it? Surprise! I can't remember. Really, photobombed, basically, at, at Tony Stark uh, contests before. He's done it more than once. <laughs> I would. Yeah. Idiot fans of Star Wars have uh, said that uh, um, Carrie Fisher did not look enough like Leia in the new movies. You know, it's not realistic how Leia would have aged. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That is the, <laughs> that is the stare of shame that I'm giving you. Right. <laughs> anyway, it is two o'clock, two o three actually. It so is two o three. We should probably wrap it up. All so. right. Yes. Do you want to give us one more spin for the camera? Oh yeah, let's do or one more. a good more. pose. The da 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 Wonder Woman. And now we need to come back. Yes. <laughs> so. We'll Wonder do, Joe! We'll have to do another Wonder one Joe. with you clothed. Yeah. yeah. Yes, so thank right. you guys for joining us. Yes, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you thank you to all of you who have stuck through the entire Wonder Woman build. And, and thank you very much to those of you who participated with the Let's Set a Goal and Get Joe in This Thing game that we wanted to play today. Joe as Wonder Woman, brought Joe. to you by viewers like you. By viewers thank like you. you.
So um, let's talk about the Discord and Patreon. Okay. Um, so in case you haven't heard, um, a lot of stuff happens on the Discord. We're That's talking true. about memes that are being made, and you guys can't see those because you're not on the Discord. So if you want to get in on the fun with Discord, you, what, subscribe to the... Subscribe to the $5, dollar, $5, $5 dollar level Patreon. on the Odin Makes Patreon. So right. it's five a month. So it's not like it's right. crazy expensive. You're not, break, you're not breaking the bank like paying $200 to see me in a Wonder Woman costume. Right. Um, but you also get a lot of access to fun things like um, uh, Odin Makes Jeopardy, which just started. Right. Um, and then there's our weekly Among Us game, which is going to not always be among us we'll play other games eventually eventually but that seems to be what's what people are having a good time with and it's pretty affordable um there's an upcoming minecraft server yes the minecraft server is um, currently being worked on by our discord admin right um so that's uh that's going to get launched probably next month okay um, and we have a very special build to commemorate that so yes. But you're only going to have uh, be able to get into it if you uh, subscribe to the particular uh, level, right. which will be announced when it gets announced. Right. So. But that is that is but coming be, up. That'll be a Patreon thing too. Uh, now, in addition to this, myself and Joe and Felicia are all members of this of this Discord, and talk continuously on it. We we answer questions. We post little things. Post pictures. I post work in progress of what I'm of what I'm making for the week. Sometimes we even post pictures of uh, Toby as he scratches himself in the corner as loud as he can. Um, <laughs> that's what the ticking is. Uh, that's his nails. But um, yeah, we we, we it, it is it is a fun community, and I really appreciate all of you guys that are there. We just hit 100 members, and uh, it's 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 an enjoyable place. And if you've ever wanted to watch Odin makes episodes brand new on Tuesday and not have to wait for Wednesday, then. Being at the Patreon five dollar level is for you because well, actually, you get access even the two dollar level Tuesday. gets that one. Oh, even the two dollar level. Even the two dollar level that. gets so, that one. <clears throat> so just um, yeah, so everybody gets that one. That's awesome. So yeah. just subscribing that way to Patreon, you get early access on Odin makes content. So <laughs> now I know we've been pushing Patreon a lot, which is important. You know, it's it's it's, it's greatly appreciated because honestly, the Patreons. Uh, support is what keeps it's what keeps the lights on. It's what it's what pays for the shop and pays for the uh, for the supplies that I'm using in the shop. So that is massively important. And thank you guys very much. But everyone else who's just simply tuning in and watching, those of you who have subscribed to my channel, that helps too. And so, a huge thank a, you to you guys. Yeah. So huge, a huge thank, thank you, you to all of you guys, uh, definitely because all of that helps in a big way. Yeah. 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 Ralph Mork says, I just joined, and it is indeed a lot of fun. Oh, good. Thank you, Ralph. Yeah. Atari, I killed fun. your name. <laughs> Morick. 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 Now, and, and when we do send out the, 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 the Patreon rewards, which happens about every week at this point, it is myself and Joe that are putting those together and getting them sent out. So, yep. Yep. It's true. So. It's true. Yep. Yes. Yes. So, so uh, it's almost 2.10. It's almost 2.10. It's After almost this 210. stream is done, we're going to post the pattern for this poncho yep. in oh, cool. my video. So you yeah. guys can actually make this now. And... So where is your video? Because you also have a YouTube channel. Yes, I have. I started a YouTube channel very <laughs> slowly. Um, behind the scenes fashions um, on YouTube. If you look that up, um, that's mm -hmm. where you can find me. And there is I a have link in the description. I have two videos, that's it. Um, made this poncho and a Cinderella skirt. And I have another video coming out, but because I am just overwhelmed with life in general, I am releasing the poncho pattern and the um, dress form's just gonna wait a little bit. But I feel like that one's gonna be a lot of fun and I think you guys would really enjoy it. It's the dress form we were using, making the Wonder Woman costume. It's that one back there. It's, it's behind kind of behind us in the dark. Um, it, was, it was accomplished for 20 bucks in raw materials. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's right there. See? Minus so, the red top. But yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. But yeah, no, I made this dress form. I filmed it. I have not edited the video, but that one is coming out. But since it's not coming out soon, I am releasing the poncho because yeah. I have it and I can. And So that, that'll definitely be happening. Yes. <clears throat> but now we are eight minutes over. All right. And All it's right. time to say our goodbyes. Which we're very bad at saying our goodbyes. Yes. yes. But you need to click the oh, buttons. Oh, I'll go over here and click the buttons. Oh. 
But yes, to all of you who've tuned in, to all of you who've stuck with us for this full, for the patrons, the full three hours, thank you guys very, very much. We're going to be back next Sunday, this exact same time. Uh, the public stream will start at noon California time. For those of you who are on the Patreon and on Discord, you'll be able to tune in at 11.15 and get a little private pre-show where it's a lot easier to see your comments. And um, I'm seeing a lot of buys happening, so thank you all very much. And... Happy crafting. See you next Remember. week at our stitching bitch. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be lots of different ways you can stumble through trying to say goodbye at the end of a stream. But this is how Odin waves goodbye. With a train. With a train. train. <laughs>